to explain to you about your online activity, um, especially towards children. We're from an online child protection team. Okay. Hey, do you remember to speak into that young lady there at all? I don't remember, no. no. It might have been a while ago, a couple of days ago. Right, no, you, no, you've been speaking to her quite recently. All right, so before you go ahead and, and try and deny things, the yeah, best yeah. thing you can do is be honest with me. Yeah. It's being recorded for your safety and ours. I will make you aware now, if you do try and make off or you become aggressive, yeah, yeah, I will yeah. place you under what's called a section 24A citizen's arrest and I will use what I believe to be reasonable force to detain you, whether that be taking you to the floor or whether it be if we can just keep calm and complacent okay, okay. like this, yep. yeah? Yep. You're not gonna come to any no, harm no, no. at all, yeah? I think if we were gonna, gonna harm yeah, you, yeah. we would have established that yeah. already. What I'm now gonna do is, I'm gonna make a phone call to the police. The police will attend, you'll be arrested and taken into custody to answer questions about what you've been up to online. These two chaps here are gonna have a little chat with you while I step back and make that phone call. Okay. As I say, don't panic, but no need to panic, all right? Just keep it calm, police will be along shortly, and uh, these chaps are gonna have a little chat with you, all right? Cool. All right, Adam. All right. All right, so that person you were talking to, can you remember how old she said she was? No. She was told you in the first couple of messages, can you remember how old she said she was? Yeah. How old did she say she was? 11. 11. Mate, the whole thing is in an evidence pack. Every single message that's been sent to her, every single picture, everything that's been sent will be given to the police. What I will say is, my colleague said already, just be as honest as you can, because this will be used as evidence. And when you get to court, which you will get taken to court, when you get there, unfortunately, um, if you go down the route of lying to them and they have to do a trial, then we will attend, we'll give evidence along with the decoys, and you'll get a longer sentence, right? Yeah. I'm just trying to be fair with you, right? But my colleague's got a few so points he wants to bring out anyway. So can you remember some of the conversation you were having with her, the things you were saying? Do you want to take a seat on that wall, my friend? No, I'll have a stand. Okay. So you know where I'm going now? Yeah. With I everything you were saying? Yeah. So what would you, can you remember what you were saying? No, I don't remember what you were saying. So do you think it's appropriate talking to an 11-year-old like that? No. So the things you were saying was that you wanted her to come around to yours because you want to take her for a drive and for her to sit on your lap? I didn't say I, was, I wanted her to come to mine. You said you wanted to meet up? Because you said you were about taking us either swimming, <coughs> cinema, or the park? Yeah. And you wanted her to sit on your lap? Because you must have a thing for bums. Because that's what you wanted to do. Come up her bum so she didn't get pregnant. Was that correct? Yeah. And you think that's appropriate? No. Have you ever been arrested for something like this before? No. So, some of these bits, we've only got the worst bits on here because this is actually a really bad chat. Yeah. Um, so again, I mean, you've, you said you want to lick her bum hole, say a hard cockle ground cider. And how old did we just confirm that this decoy is that you believe you're talking to? And you're telling an 11 year old you want to do that. And you're born in 86, is that right? So, as he was saying, asking to meet him at the park and everything else. Um, so this, this girl acknowledged she was 11. What did you reply to her? Did you say anything to her from that? Not necessarily sexual, but did you say anything to her when she told you she was 11? About how you feel about her? Did you tell this child that you love her? Yes. You, kept, you told her that you loved her and you was using her photos and writing, I love you and writing all over her photos and then sending them back to the child, wasn't he? Okay, I'll ask. We know the answer. So again, honesty is the best policy. Yeah. Have you ever sent indecent images to a child? Have you yeah. received any in indecent images yourself? No, not from her, no. But from any, any child. child? Not any child at all, no. Okay, one quick thing we haven't touched upon. Um, you look like you're a pretty clued up guy. What's the age of consent in the UK? Legal age of consent. 18. No, makes it even worse. Is it 18? It's 16. 16. Oh, is it 16? So that makes it even worse. So if you believe the legal age of consent is 18 and you're talking to somebody seven years below that, telling her how you want to come in a bum, that makes you a lot more dangerous to somebody that believed it was 16 originally. See where I'm coming from? Yeah. So I can ask you another question. Is you only talking to any more children online? Just that one. 
Just the one. Just the one. You sure? I'm sure. Positive. Okay. Wanna... Like, like my, co like my yeah. colleague said to you, this is being recorded. Yeah. So there'll be thousands of people watching live. These people will be from teams. So the teams will come forward if they've got a decoy. So if one of their decoys, you're speaking to them, they're going to tell us shortly. And before you get picked up by the police, we'll most probably be told of others, if there are others. So are they? No, just one. Second chance to say, mate. Right? Right. Just to make the uh, decoys that might be watching aware, his act name is Adam32. Um, yeah, just as my colleague was explaining there as well, the legal age of consent being 16, the... Um, age limit for actually sending indecent images is actually 18 so even to send images like the ones that you've been sending the consent age for that is at 18 but the legal age for sexual consent is actually 16 so just to make you aware of that for future reference images you've sent are they images you've downloaded and then distributed onto the child or are they pictures of yourself as well i've sent a picture of myself any particular part of yourself So you've downloaded those pictures? Yes. And then distributed pornographic images, which is another offence in itself, to a minor. Yeah? Okay. I appreciate you confirming it. You know, these things have to be confirmed. You're in quite deep trouble, buddy, to, to face facts, really, because I don't know if they've explained to you while I was making the call. The other charge that you're facing as well is because it's an 11-year-old decoy, it's a pre-teen. So that also carries an extra charge in itself. Anybody under the age of 13, obviously, hence the word preteen, is an, an additional charge in itself. Um, the videos and images that you've been sending to what you believe were 11 year old are pretty sick. I think if you look on that, uh, I think you've sent nine. No, it's on there, there's a full count on there. Yeah, I mean, off, the t off my count last night, I think it was nine. Ten. Yeah, 10, we're up yeah. to 10 now, so you've sent another one since I last yeah. looked at the uh, chat log last night. Okay. Um, you've got a daughter yourself as well, haven't you, mate? I've got two. And you don't see them, do you? Dad's going to ask what's going on. If, uh, mm. if any... I'll just, so I'll just we, have a chat with We're not going to tell him because it's not our him, place. Yeah, to. just tell him yeah. it doesn't matter, I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah. If you can just shout to him you're okay, because I don't want to tell him what we're here for, because that's down to you, you're an adult, yeah? yeah you're plenty yeah, old yeah, enough yeah, to tell yeah, him yourself. Buddy, no problem. Yeah, I'll let him so what devices do you use to communicate on? Communicate? Yeah, is it your phone? Just my phone. Do you have a tablet? No, just my Any phone. other devices I that have connect? I have a tablet, but I don't use that. I just use my phone. Any other electrical devices that connect to the internet? I've got my Xbox TV, Xbox, Playstations. My Xbox is connected to the internet, but I only use that for playing online. That, is, that possibly will be, be seized. Those things will be seized because okay. they all connect to the internet, so they all have the potential for you to be able to use those. Do you have the use of, means of your uh, parents' yeah. electronic devices? Uh, no. I just use their internet. Is it just your parents you live with or siblings? Or? Just my parents. Yeah. So as I was just touching upon before, I mean, your dad just wanted me to let you know that you left your window open on your car. I think that's probably the least of your worries at this moment in time. Yeah. Um, got two kids yourself. Don't don't mention any names, but how old are they? Or was the one about seven years old? I think one's seven and the other one's six. So only four right. years younger than this person you're sending so, this stuff to. What can I ask? I know it's probably a bit of a personal matter. What's the reason for you not being allowed to see those kids? Have you have you been caught for something like this before? No, this is the first time. Yeah, hopefully it's the last time. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time. Well, hopefully it's the last. Um, I mean, thank God, as bad as it may sound, that you don't actually see your kids because otherwise they'd have to be questioned at this point in time in, in relation to what we're here to talk to you about. Uh, I, I think we've only got our good graces to thank that you don't actually have any contact with your children as bad as that may sound. Because what you were um, saying to that 11 year old was disgusting. Only four years difference, and if you can say that to an 11 year old, yeah, there's a potential there that you could. But um, another thing with- uh, uh, Another thing, you say you wasn't talking to no other, no other children online? No, just that one. You sure? I'm sure. Remember I told you that people will mention on the page if they- We've just had a 13 decoy. year old come forward. So there's a 13 year old decoy. Yeah. Mate, it, you know, we're trying to be as fair with you as we can be, so that's giving two. you the advice to be honest and these people will come forward and all the evidence again so that person you're talking to they'd have all the evidence that we've got so like the pictures we've seen of you yeah. it, you know 
and and every single message and everything that's been sent, they've got the same. So you must be talking to a 13 year old decoy. Unless right. they're not going to come forward, are they? Their evidence will also be submitted to the police, as my colleague was explaining. Once the police arrive, like I explained earlier, you'll be arrested, taken into custody and questioned in relation to ours, as well as theirs. So, and like I said to you at the beginning again also, the best thing you can do is be honest with us. Because like I say, this will be submitted to the police's evidence, this video, can also be used in court. And now this, if this is shown in court, and you're standing here bare face lying to us now, if they show this in court, the jury are just going to see that you're just a liar and, and they're not going to believe a word you say. Um, if it, my other bit of advice I'll give to you is don't go not guilty. Because if you do go guilty, we'll all attend court and give evidence against you anyway. And every person we catch gets convicted. You, you will not get away with what you've done. You will be convicted. You will then be put on a sexual prevention order, sexual harm prevention order. And you will also now go on a sex offenders register as well. However, how long that may be is down to the judge. But Do you know what you get classed as when you're on that. At the minute, you're an online predator. What do you think the name might be for people that do that for kids? Beautiful. Yeah, and that's what you'll be known as. And that's what people will call you, whether it's work colleagues. Work-wise, um, the DPS checked for anything for work. Yes. You are. Okay, so I might have some more bad news for you. That DBS check will be revoked when you get charged and you you know once you're convicted you, you're screwed work-wise you're not gonna be able to do it any dbs check comes back saying you've done this with minors online with uh, child grooming you're not going to get dbs check. well I'll, i'm going to actually um be ringing you work. be ringing your work in the morning to explain why you're not going to be in tomorrow and i'm also going to forward this video to them and off so i don't think it's going to take as long to your next dbs check to pop up you might well be out of a job this week yeah um because, I mean, I don't, most of the public don't agree with what people like you do. Um, you can go into homes with kids there and everything. Can you? Yeah. Because yeah. I should put your keys down for us. Yeah, just pop them in your pocket. Just so you're not going to... So they around. can't be so, used against yeah, 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 yeah. Just no, <coughs> that's what no, I'm I don't think you're going to be like that. Yeah, which is yeah, why we haven't asked you to do it before. No, no. Person. Brothers and sisters, um, have you got any? I've got an older brother and a younger sister. Nieces and nephews? I've got nieces and nephews. Nieces, how old? My niece is three and my nephew's two. Right, okay, none older? None older. Okay. No. But just say, for instance, I mean, in, in this aspect of things, you're lucky that it's a team like mine that turned up here today, right? Because could you imagine, you as a father, right? Yes. Imagine you picked up your 11-year-old daughter's phone and see the sort of stuff that you've been saying and sending to an 11-year-old, what would you want to do to the person on the other end of that phone? You'd want to kill them, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. So, in that aspect of things, you're rather lucky that it's a team like ours that have come across you and not somebody's parents, because I don't think they'd be recording it for your safety, and you probably wouldn't have needed the police run. You probably would have ended up in A&E, to be quite honest with you. Um, so, like I say, you're quite lucky that it's, it's a team like mine that have turned up here to get you today. My decoy has done an amazing job with you as well. You, I'm going to tell you straight now, yeah, your chat log is one of the worst, but it, not one of the worst, your chat log is the worst I've ever seen. You are vile. What you've been saying to what you believe was an 11-year-old child, man. What's, what's wrong with you? Like, you must have something not working upstairs quite well. Do you right, have a sexual or, or preference something. to kids? You've got to have some kind of preference to be telling an 11 year old girl that you wanted to sit on your lap so you could come in her bum. And the reason you wanted to come in her bum is so it wouldn't make her pregnant. Yeah, I think you'd get away with it that way. Did you, did you not realise at the time, like, what, what you were doing? I mean, do you, do you drink or take drugs much? No, I don't drink at all, and I don't take any drugs. So you're completely, like, not off sound of mind. Dispensers. Yeah, as such. Yeah, yeah. So you're fully aware of, of what your actions are, even though, like, you, you just explained you didn't realise, but you're of a sound mind to turn around and basically think, do you know what I mean? If, if someone come online and was talking to me and explained, that they were 11 or however young it may be under the age of consent you as an adult 
and as a man should be turning round, blocking and, and deleting the profile. So you know, know I'm really sorry but you know you'll know you see yeah. But you haven't ever. Have you been trying to gain custody of your kids recently as well, haven't you? No. No? No. That's the information I found about you. You were trying to go to court to stop them being adopted at some point, weren't you? No, I went to no, I went to court. Right. Because I was agreeing with the social worker <coughs> to get them adopted. I was right, trying, okay. I wasn't trying to go to court to get them. Yeah, because I'm just saying any chances of that now would be well out of the window. Yeah, I know. Um, I know I wasn't. But you've ruined, you've ruined your life, that's what you've done. Yeah. And can I tell you now? When we knocked on your door before and you was at work. Yeah. I take it it was your mum that answered. Yeah. Lovely lady. Yeah. And your dad has just gone out. Yeah. And that woman's got to find out about this, however she finds out. Yeah, and she's got to live with that. And when you're sentenced, she's got to live with the fact she's got a son that will then, not now, but would then, upon conviction, be classed as a female. So you've got I think they're going to feel. Lovely people. It's as not well. your life, is it? No. It's not just your life. I'm not, I, you know, I don't really, no offence to you, I don't really care what happens to you in your life, but you're ruining the lives of other people and the child that you're talking to. Which I'm sure my colleague will and tell you now what happens with kids like that. So you were talking about having sex with this child and you want to hold her feet while having sex? Yeah. You've got a foot fetish or something, and, or bums, because that's, we'll that's all it is. What we'll do in a minute is we'll just hold off when this lady walks past. Yeah. I mean, um, the only reason you wanted to have intercourse via, via that route so that she wouldn't get pregnant. She's 11 years <coughs> old man. Why would you want to do that to an 11 year old child? That's what I don't understand. We always seem to have somebody walks past and every sting with a yeah. dog, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> we heard you yeah, coming from, right from yeah. a mile and a half away. I mean, when, like my colleague was saying, all your devices are now be seized. When the police arrive, they're going to have to go into your property and they're going to search it, right? Yeah, the only devices I use are the ones in my Yeah, room. but the thing that bothers Doesn't me more... Doesn't matter you have access to the others, though. You can use them if your mum and dad were out. The thing is, the thing that bothers me, though, more to that point, is that your your dear old mum, bless her, has now got to watch her house be stripped apart by God knows how many coppers that are going to turn up in a minute. So and plenty of rip her house to pieces. Go for every drawer, all her personal stuff, in case you've got devices there. Eh? And if anyone does know who this gentleman is, does know where he lives or any of his family or whatever, stay away from friends and family. It's nothing to do with him. He took this completely off his own back to go ahead and do this. Um, and no one but himself to blame, really. You, um, you're in a lot of trouble. I don't quite think it's sunk in yet, just how much trouble you're in, but. Lovely you're... neighborhood as well around here, isn't it? Yeah. Respected everybody, I should imagine. One of the things we said when we turned up, wasn't it? What lovely area it is, and how people were probably well respected. So I'm sure your parents are here. Yeah. Have you got a thing for crossdressers? I've been talking to someone online. You've been talking to somebody online? Because uh, we had a little scour of uh, one of your profiles, and, and some of the things that we come across on there were quite alarming in themselves. Do you know what I mean? Um, up to you what you want to get up yeah, to at the weekend our, our only concern is when you're, you're grooming children online um, uh, yeah I mean why, why are you not <coughs> engaging with these adults more there's plenty of adults on your profile and whatever why are you not speaking to them why? I mean would you would you start talking to your 32 say you was talking to someone who's 28 or 30 or whatever would you start sending them the sort of like images and videos that you've been sending to a child you wouldn't, would you? Like, well, would you be a danger to their own kids? Because if you're meeting somebody your age, they could have kids of 11. True. I mean, you keep saying it's true and you're nodding, but yet again, we get different people, right, that act different ways, and you've got one of those faces that it hasn't sunk in. Yeah, we can look at people in the eyes and you can see it straight away. They've realised what they've done. But I don't think you have. I, have, I do realise what I've done. You regret what you've done, or is it more that you regret that we've turned up and you've been caught? No, I regret what I've done. Oh, okay, so you would have stopped doing this later on tonight then if we hadn't turned up anyway, yeah? I no, you wouldn't have, you'd have carried on. 
Where was you going next weekend? Don't blag and my friend, because it won't was work. Was you going anywhere next weekend? Now bear in mind already what I've said to you about lying to me because I already know the answer. Where was you going next weekend? I agreed to go next weekend. Yeah, you was going to go and meet an 11 year old child for sex next weekend. You was going to go and anally rape an 11 year old, but because of the content of your chat log, I would have preferred to have picked you up on that meet to be honest with you. Because again, I would have got another, another charge against you or I couldn't leave you another week um, the way you were going on online. You had to be stopped and you had to be stopped today. I couldn't, I couldn't bear it. You, you've broken my decoy, my decoy's done an amazing job of you. You have messed with her head, just the crap that you've been coming up with in your chat log. You are by far the worst chat log I've ever seen. And trust me, I've seen a few of these. And you, you are well off the mark, mate. You, you are up there. Not very clever though, are you? Because you posted a picture of your car, and you're quite easy to find. Sent you quite clearly knew what you was doing in that respect because you went to the extent of covering up your number plate yeah, so, it yeah, so that you couldn't be traced for it yeah. right so you knew full well what you was doing was wrong because you didn't want to lose <coughs> any trace of it i know i cover up my number plate like if i'm sending my number plate to like a friend or something I would cover up my number plate. I won't send them my a picture on my car with my number So plate. do you tell your friends how you want to do this to them? How you want them sat on your lap? Hello. Got any female friends around your own sort of age, yeah? Bet you don't send these, these pictures to them, do you? Bet when the police go through your devices and get all those deleted pictures that you've deleted over time. Because you would have deleted some. Because you're clever enough, just about, to think I better delete these. What you don't know is they'll retrieve them. And they can retrieve them from a long time ago. Every single message. Even a, a device that isn't working, they'll still retrieve pictures. And I know full well, in amongst those pictures, they won't find them where you've sent them to an adult. Will they? So you haven't got that preference with an adult, then you've got the preference with a child. Well, or else you wouldn't be sending it to a kid adult. instead. I do send pictures to adults as well. So I'd you, stop sending pictures of that if I were you, to so, be honest. So do you copy their pictures and then write, I love you all over those adults' pictures and then send them to the adults? getting a bit freaky with that like that was like borderline like do you know what i mean stalkish you're like copying her pictures editing them <coughs> with like your own personal message and then sending them back to what you thought was an 11 year old yeah so it's not right is it what do you think should happen to you now do you think she's just getting slapped on the wrist sorry mate won't do it again like do you think you deserve to go to prison I mean, do you understand what this can do to an 11 year old child? Do you understand what it does to them in their head mentally? Yeah. It messes them up for the rest of their life. What do you mean, yeah? If you know what it does to them, why carry on doing it? So you're just throwing in the odd yes and no every now and again because you think it's the right thing to say. But when you think about it, when you're saying, yeah, you know what it does to an 11 year old child, you carried on doing it, so you didn't care what it did to them. You didn't care what effect it had to that child. You didn't know it was a decoy until we turned up. This is the first time you realised. Till then, that was a real child. Yeah? And you've just said you knew what effects it had having them, but you didn't care, you carried on. Nothing to say for yourself. I think you're shocked. Is it now, now sinking in what you've actually done? Is your phone on yourself or is it in the car? It's in your phone. Don't leave it take it out. Please will see that soon. Do you have just the one phone? Do you have a work phone and, and a personal phone? I just have one phone, yeah, which right. is in my pocket. I don't have a work phone. Yeah, right. So do you work for these? Yeah. You know, and I'm going to tell you now, before you have to tell them, I'd probably say there's a pretty good bet that one of your work colleagues or one of your friends have seen this whilst it's posted live. Because this is all live streamed on Facebook. You you can't you've now got 1.8 thousand people watching you. Can't moment. tell me, all of your colleagues, none of them will be watching. If one of those has seen it, your bosses will know before you get a chance to tell them, because you'll still be in the nick. I'll be sending them the your video bosses are gonna get anyway. Your boss is going to hear of this before anybody else. So you may as well already consider your job gone. Just like you could quite possibly destroy a real child's life, 
I will now come after yours. I'll destroy your job, everything. I, I don't, mind his, don't mind his life being destroyed. I, I will go through everything I can possibly think of. I'll, I'll ring in your work first thing in the morning and I'll, I'll get you. I'll get through to your boss. I'll get his email and I'll send him a copy of this video. Don't say where it is, but the store's local, isn't it? I know exactly where it is. It's not very far to travel to, is it? Well, you work it's not actually a store I work in, it's a warehouse. Yeah. It's not far from here, though. I mean, it, we, we do this obviously to protect children as well. But do you know how many people out there that are survivors that have to live with this every day from where stuff like this happened to them when they were younger or, or, or older? It doesn't matter, it happens to adults as well. Guarantee there's a handful of survivors and they have to live with it day in, day out, and continue to struggle for the rest of their life because they've come across people like you at one point. It's not fair. They don't even get a bit of counselling. You'll get offered all the courses under uh, under the, the clouds, mate. You'll get offered everything. Yeah, you'll have all these qualifications course, course, when you come out. Whatever, right? The people that are survivors, that are actual victims of people like you, get diddly squat you know, most of the time. They can go their whole life without being close to anybody because they can't have that closeness. Can't have a sexual partner. Can never be happy, won't have kids. And that's all because of things that you do people like you do like I've said my colleague saying about his contact in work I hope he contacts everywhere including a local paper if need be because your life deserves to be ruined with what you've done but it, your parents your family and the decoy and the real kids that are involved not in this case but in other cases people like you deserve everything they get the area we're in and all, do you know what? I'd be willing to bet my left nut that you'll be reminded in the custody. You're in the worst area to be caught, you are. Reminded what it was just last week. In the area yeah. that we're in now, not actually too far from here, actually. No. So, could well be the fact that you go into custody tonight. You'll and, stay there uh, until your court date. Yeah, you'll stay well, there. Well, you'll, you'll, be, uh, you'll be put on remand in prison depending on what they decide to do, depending on how you go. So, so you I'm could go to court tomorrow, you could plead guilty, and that would go in your favour. You could go to court tomorrow, you could plead not guilty, you could then be remanded for months waiting for a case to come up, for a trial date. And then when you go to trial, and we turn up, and everybody else that's involved in this case now turn up, you got a long time inside, so it depends how you go. And I'm not too sure whether you've got the ball stretch to go, Gil. I think you're the sort that might take a risk. And I hope you take a risk, actually. Because you'll be found guilty in a trial. And then that's a lot longer on your sentence, and it will be going guilty now. The thing I would like to say on top of that, though, is you've put, especially my decoy, through enough already, yeah? Do her Don't a favour. Don't drag her through a trial, yeah? You've put that poor girl through enough already. She's been sick to the stomach with the, the crap that you've been saying, <coughs> right? She don't need it. I'm glad we've got Neither. you so she can't, you can't send her anymore. Yeah, she she was begging us to come out and get you earlier than today, but we, could, we couldn't get her yesterday. The earliest we could come was today. Um, she, she, she can't deal with you anymore. This is why we needed to. I couldn't wait until you went to meet that child next weekend. I had to get you today. All of us are more than an hour away to get up. But to be able to stop the decoy, like my colleague said, from having to go through your vile messages and receive your images, it was worth coming out here tonight. Again, that's not just to our decoys either, but to, <coughs> to all of them. To, to all the decoys out there that have to put up with people like you day in, day out. It's, all the survivors, there's loads all the of teams kids. like ours up and down the country, hundreds of decoys, if not thousands, and they have to put up with people like you day in, day out. And do you know what? I give them their due because they're worth their weight in gold. Every single one of them. If it weren't for the decoys, us three chaps wouldn't be able to stand here today in front of you and pick you up. We get the easy part. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I, I don't what decoy. My, I can't. I, I don't decoy myself because I wouldn't be able to physically decoy you and then stand in front of you and, and maintain this level of calmness. I think if I would have been the one to have decoyed, especially yourself, I probably would have ended up losing my rag in front of you. To be honest, I'm not going to lie to you. But we don't operate like that. I like things to be kept nice, nice and calm, compliant. 
yeah. much better in court anyway. Get you handed over to the police better and then from then on, they deal with you. We, we've come as far as we go with this now. It's now down to them on, on how they move forth. And like I just said to you a minute ago, and I hands down would, I'd bet my left nut you get remanded. And I hope you do. You shouldn't be walking the streets to things you've been saying what you thought was an 11 year old child. Well, even if you're not remanded, you're not going to have any devices to be able to talk to anybody anyway. Because that will be seized as evidence. Just so happens as well that quite recently, the, C the CPS support <coughs> system used to take in account of the fact that it was a decoy you was talking to. Just recently, and that's actually changed. They actually now just consider it as a flat out real child in, a, in any sort of case, whether it is an actual real child or a decoy, it's still gonna be treated as a real child. Well, that's because from your point of view, you think it's a real child up until now, yeah? yeah? So that's why they decide to use a decoy as a real child, because that's what you believe you're talking to. So are we now saying it's just a two? Or do you think there's any more? It was just one to start with, and then you were like, no, it's not a second, but there's a second. Is it going to be a third? No, it's just two. Definitely just two. So, just, we, we ask everyone this same question, and, and a lot of these questions are the same for pretty much everyone we catch as well. Why is it that you do it? Why? What would you get out of it? What'd you gain? I've never done it. Yeah, but why did you do it in the first place? Why, why is it? I mean, did you just wake up one morning eating your breakfast and think, oh no, I'm sick of talking <coughs> to adults and we'll start nonsense kids online? I mean, what, did something click in your head? Like, why? Do you know, do you know why? No, you don't. You don't know why. We never, we never get an answer. I'm just hoping that you could have been the one to maybe give us that answer. Do you know what I mean? No, no one ever knows why they do it. I mean, we had one guy the other day that did actually admit that he does have an attraction towards children. I think it's probably it's the first one. one. A couple of days ago, yeah, the first I one think it's the first been... one I've ever caught that actually admitted he had some he sort of an attraction to children. Um, but no one can ever answer us as to why they do it. If we, if we could get an answer as to why people do it, maybe we could find a way to stop people doing it. Do you know what I mean? It, yeah. That's the, the sad and sickening side of it, really. So how long you how long you been or are you going to admit to being talking to uh, children online obviously we know how long with this one so it's pointless going any shorter than that because we know when this chat started because it's one of our decoys but how long have you been talking to kids online what are these two kids any the only two these two kids i've been talking to three weeks i think it is two so what made that come about then, three weeks ago? What what changed? What went from you not doing it to you then? Surely it doesn't just change overnight, does it? What changed three weeks ago? What's changed in your life? Any significant change maybe? It could be... A random thing to start doing, isn't it? Just three weeks ago. Do you know what I mean? Why not go up to the pub, like, do you know what I mean? Buy, <laughs> buy a boat of drink or, do you know what I mean? Take, take someone out for dinner. I and mean, why, why sit there? We just don't understand why people sit there and groom children online. And then all of a sudden decide that's what they want to do. Do you know what I mean? Years ago when we were all kids, yeah, and yourself, you used to have to watch out for the old boy up in the park with a bag of arrow bows sitting on the bench, do you know what I mean? Now, our kids are getting groomed in their own bedrooms upstairs while their parents are sat downstairs. Yeah, their parents think they're up you know there listening I mean? to music, playing on Fortnite or whatever, and, uh, and they're not, they're talking to... Adult. You got any um got any health issues that you need to be aware of to pass on to the police? Health issues. No illnesses, no ailments, no flat. Don't take any medication for anything. And you don't smoke, don't you drink? I do smoke just cigarettes so that's it. You won't be really, they you won't really do that. Um, prison is no smoking. So if you're remanded, obviously that you won't be able to. But they do have nurses there that you'll see, and I'm. They, I think they supply they supply patches, can't they? I think. <coughs> have you ever been victim to anything like this when you were younger? No. no. Anybody close to you? No. Without obviously mentioning anybody, but nobody close to you that was abused at all. No. I'm sorry we're asking, but it's our way I've of trying to see if there's a. Not, I've, not that I've been told in the family. Just trying to find some kind of trigger that might. 
I mean, make you, do you it. might not see it that way. I mean, you might think of abuse as a more of a physical side of things. Yeah, it doesn't but have to be. Does what, it? what you're doing online via messages is a form of abuse. Is is abuse, whether it be physical or online or, or, or whatever, it's mental and physical abuse are, are both abuse. And if you would have got your way, like I stated already, <laughs> next weekend, it would have it would have escalated to physical abuse. You were going to anally rape an 11 year old child, man. Which part of that is normal in your head, please? Because I, I don't understand it at all. You're not standing there now thinking it's dangerous that you could have actually been doing that a week ago. Because you could have been, couldn't you? Yeah. That was your intention, wasn't it? So fair play to you for saying, yeah, instead of going, oh no, no, I wouldn't have followed it through, which is what a lot of people tell us. So, you know, fair play to you there. But to think, one week from now, your life would have been completely different if you'd have been caught after doing that. No, if it was a real child, it wouldn't have been yeah, exactly. his life. It would have been no, exactly. that child's life. That she, you would have destroyed. What would you have done, Mike? Say, for instance, that happened, yeah? And then you, she went away, <laughs> yeah? And then you tried to speak to her again online that night and got no response. And then all of a sudden, a week later, you see in a newspaper somewhere that an 11-year-old girl gone hung herself in her bedroom because of what you'd done. Do you know what I mean? That's the effects. That's the, as harsh as it sounds, yeah? That's, that's the outcome that, that happens from situations like this. Kids think they've found a friend or, or whatever, and then say, say you would have gone and done it and then stopped talking to her and completely blamed her. She'd have thought, well, what did I do wrong? Was it me? Did I do something wrong? She'd have sat there blaming herself for the rest of her life, or until she went up in her bedroom and hung herself. I say, yeah, but you hear about it all the time in the news, don't you? Yeah, you do, yeah. That's what I mean, and that is what the cause of it is. That's where it starts, with a little bit of grooming online in, in some cases, not all the time. So a week today, that could have happened to a real child, had that been a child you met next weekend. So I know I've asked you before, and so is my colleague and that, but um, nobody else you're talking to? Just those two, that's it. Thank God for that, because it, there's, you know, it would have been a possibility of a real child. We know the two you're talking to are decoys. If there are more... It is just those two. And they, you know, they, they'd actually be real children. So with your dad going out, does, has he gone out for the evening or will he be back? Or? I'm not too sure. Oh, okay. He does, he goes in and out all the time. Has he got a mobile? Would he have phoned your mum and at least let her know you're okay? I don't want her to see your car on the drive and wonder. Uh, I think run. my mum come out earlier. No, he's not back. Right, okay, sure. fair enough. No, that's fine. Well, well, I think my mum knows because I've seen my car's over there. Yeah, no, I just didn't want to see in your car at the front and thinking, oh my God, where's my son gone? Yeah. You know, not only do we have a duty of care to you, but, you know, it's the same with your parents. I mean, say this was different, say, like we, we, we see you pull up and intercepted you before you got to your front door. Imagine if you were stood on your doorstep and you didn't want to come away and walk over here and talk to us and your mum stood there next to you now while we're trying to have this conversation. Could you imagine what it would have done to that poor woman? It, it's, it's going to tear her to bits already. Imagine if we had to do this, this in front of her. Do you know what I mean? I just don't, I don't think you actually realised um, the, the effect that it's had. And it's like my colleague was saying again earlier, not just on you, but on other people around you and obviously on yourself and all. Your life is never going to be the same again from this day forward. Believe me. Yes, yeah, we won't. You'll never get a job like what you've got again. Because as soon as they flag up your DBS, mate, they'll be going, no, nah, can't have him. You've single-handedly, you're 32 years old, yeah? You've got your whole life ahead of you. You've single-handedly, because of your little fingers going 100 mile on your phone, getting your jollies off to an 11-year-old, you've single-handedly just pissed your whole life up the wall. Up the wall. Oh, I can't see how people can do that and, and get thrills out of an 11-year-old. You've got your whole life ahead of you, man. You've got a decent job there. No, I'm glad he's lost it. Okay, stand in there or do you want to have a sit down mate? Because it's not a problem. You need to sit down too. Well, I don't know, they did say there'd be 15 minutes, but obviously 
we can't tell them how, how quick they need to get here because it's quite a calm flying situation. Busy, busy force, it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's this time of day and all, but we wanted to be here to get you before you got into your house because we didn't want your parents to have to go through. They'll also know he's not in danger, so that's why they won't. I mean, your dad, your dad weren't, weren't alarmed when he pulled up there to tell you that you left your window open on your car. We just looked like poor fellas standing here on a corner having a chit chat, do you know what I mean? And that's how we want it to stay. Um, as I say, as far as exposure, your face is now out there because that's what I believe people deserve. Um, I will let the police know that if they do remind you while the investigation goes on, I might well remove my life. But um, if you're released back in the general public, it'll stay exactly where it is. It's where it needs to be if he's released. Yeah. People, did you not feel though that like, say if you, someone like this lived next door to you, would you not want to know who you lived next door to? You know, people have the right to know who they live next door to, don't they? Do you know what I tell you? Keep up those devices when you come out, because you ain't going to know whether that's one of us. And if that's one of us and you come up as a repeat offender, a re-offender, you ain't going to get away with it twice, I promise you that. As we said so at the beginning, is Adam32 on the up. We're in the London area. Um, I won't disclose exactly where we are. Again, to protect his, his family more than anything. Um, yeah, we're in the London area. And uh, it's Adam32 on the app. Adam Percy. Watch out. You know, we're not nowhere near Wakefield. Whoever's <laughs> asking that. Wakefield. No, we're a long way away from we don't, we don't go that far. No. At the moment you're saying it like you're not too bothered. That's what I've said. I think some people take it differently. I mean, I, I've had a fella who, when I explained to him why I wanted to talk to him, he hit the deck. He collapsed um, not so long ago. He made a couple cry. Um, had a couple of fellas that cried. And uh, I think the realisation for, for yourself will be when that cell door shuts later in a little while. It's quite a nice loud slam when that goes and then the lock, the clunk, you know yeah. you ain't getting out. You get, you get a nice blanket. That's, that's when you'll get to think about it. Yeah, you get a nice blanket. I wouldn't have said they were nice, but yeah. They're about, they're about as nice as the food, and that's not very nice either. No offence to HMP and all that, but their food's not the best. Not nice. as good as your mum's smell when we knock the door anyway. Don't know, you can have like a hunter's chicken and bacon sandwich, or like egg and cress or something like that, can't you? No, whichever your preference may be. I'm more partial to a bit of hunter's chicken if you ask me, but there you go. The all day breakfast. There's not a lot of breakfast in it. I mean, where, where you live here and all, yeah, we've, we've been here for a little while because we didn't know obviously what exact time you'd be driving home from work. Near enough, every house along this street that I've seen so far has got kids in it. Probably here an hour, wouldn't we, before on the sting? Yeah, because like I say, we took into consideration, which is what you haven't done, your parents and their ages, which is why I like to explain we wanted to incept you before you got to your front door. Yeah, you obviously weren't thinking about them. And them pictures you've sent and all, they're gonna go in your house and try and match <coughs> up where them pictures were taken. Was that picture taken in your bedroom? The picture of your penis that you sent to me. Yeah, so they'll go in and match up where that picture was taken. So if you was to try and say, it weren't me, well, we've got a picture of you with your penis out in your bedroom. So you are not gonna get out of it. It's, it's like I was explaining to you earlier. Best thing you can do is go guilty. Because you right, uh, as my colleague was saying, the only thing you're going to do is earn yourself a longer sentence. That is all you're going to get out of it by going. Yeah, and we don't just weak. say that to try and to make you do it. I mean, you've got your own mind. We tell you because we know how it works. Because there's been so many stings we've gone on, and so many people that have been uh, and we've seen them that have gone guilty, and we've seen them that have gone not guilty, and had to go to trial. And the ones that go to trial come off a lot worse than the ones that go guilty. I mean, do you not even want to apologise to the young girl that's had to put up here? Well, I mean, there's another one from another team, and I'm not quite sure who it is that who else has had to put up with uh, the crap that you've been coming out with. But I mean, like I said to you, you you've absolutely ripped a fully grown adult to pieces. One of my girls, yeah? Do you know what I mean? I, I, you're, not, you're not even trying to apologise to her. How long have we been stood here now? What, 20, 25 minutes? Probably a bit more, yeah. Yeah. And. Do you know what I mean? You're just not sorry at all by the looks of it, in my eyes. Do you know what 
you know what I mean? And, uh, and even now, me trying to prompt you, you've still not gone, yeah, like, cool, see, I'm sorry to her, she shouldn't have had to go through it. Do you know what I mean? You just stood there as if, like, oh shit, it's clouding over a bit now, the sun's gone in. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's... I know I don't think you would have bailed out of next weekend either. Well, I 100% reckon you would have turned up to meet that 11 year old child next weekend. Things already said that. You know what yeah, 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 no, but I 100% believe you know, it. I guarantee he would have turned up next weekend. And you know what we don't know? We don't know whether you'd have turned up, met a real child that you thought was a real child at the time. If it turned out to be a real child, we don't know if you'd have met them, done what you wanted to do, and then thought, shit, I'm going to get caught. Yeah, and then harm that child because you want to make sure you get away with anybody that can grass you up for it. Can happen, can't it? Yeah, it can happen, yeah. Yeah, you could sit there, you could do that and then think, oh shit, what's an 11 year old child going to do against you if you decide you want to stick your hands on her throat? I'm so glad we've come today. I didn't know actually until this thing that you'd had that, speaking about that meet at the yeah. weekend. But I'm I, I am so glad we so came today. So it was because it was such a quick emergency yeah. thing to come out <clears throat> and get you up. Because of the way you turned over the over the course of the weekend, you were unreal. And I mean, it's not even over the course of the weekend. Even from the the, the first point you started talking to her on the app that you was on, you went bang straight in. One of your first messages was, "You're sexy for eleven, baby," or something like that. Do you know what I mean? And then. You, went over to WhatsApp, obviously, and you were just prolific, bang, 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 like constant, and then editing her pictures with like, I love you, baby. It, that's just, just a wig out in itself. You know, my colleagues just said, that when your first message were saying something along the lines of, you're sexy, yeah, to an 11 year old. Do you walk down the street and see 11 year olds, and does that thought come in your head? Because I'm guessing it, sh it must do, if you're, you must look at them and think, Good looking 11 year old I'm looking at when i looked at the picture the first time she didn't look 11. how old does she look to you i mean look come on how old does she look to you uh, how old does she look come on you're telling me she don't look how old do you reckon about 11 12 years old how old do you reckon then give me an answer to that i reckon she looks 30. looking do at you? the yeah, picture but the again, right. that's still, that's and still what did you think there. the legal age consent was 18. 18. 18. And you've just said you thought she looked about 13. So I'll ask you differently then. Do you go down the street and look at anybody 13, 14, 15 and think, you're really pretty? No, I don't. Really? I don't. You reckon you don't do that? I don't do that. At all. Yet you've said it to a girl within seconds of talking to her online. Is that just because you're online? Is it, do you is think that you're what safe because you're online? Like, because you're behind the screen. Do you know what I mean? Because you know, you know full well, if you walked up to an 11 year old in the street and was like, oh, I think you're sexy, baby, you'd end up getting your head punched in. That's, that's why you do it online, because you know you're the only one there sat in your bedroom taking pictures of your penis. There's no way you can say it to one and then not think it when you see others. So if you was going to turn up to this meet next weekend, and you turned up, and you met this 11 year old, and someone cut you and said, oh, who's that with you? What would you just said? What you just said? I met her online. Met her online, sent her a picture of my dick and then I've met her here to, to rape her. Is that what you'd have said to him? That's what I mean, I, I answer my colleague's question. What, what, question what would you have said if someone stopped you? I don't know what I would have said. Didn't think it through very well then, did I? No, I didn't. I think more than anything, besides the, obviously saving real children, I think if that had been a real child, we've quite possibly saved you from ending up in intensive care as well. Because if someone would have come across you with a real child planning to do what you were going to do, do you know what I mean? It would have only ended one way for you. And you probably would have ended up in a body bag. I mean, it's, like I say, it's not the way we operate. I, I want you on the sex offenders register. That's where I want you. The only number I give a toss about is how long you get in prison. That's all I care about. And I'm just going to warn you now, we got one fella in this in, in the Met area as well, they're going for a 14 year sentence on him. Right, and I've got another fella who's up and all and they're going for a life sentence on him. So you just gauge by that in how much shit what you're actually What sort of chat in. you've been given to this 11 year old? And then you can add up your years while you're still there, can't you? Think how many you deserve. Do you reckon you deserve prison time or do you just think you should get help? What do you reckon? Both. What sort of help do you think you need? What, what is it? 
Like, what do you think would help you to stop doing this again? Like, what, a counsellor or something like that? Or what? What do you think would help you? Having your nuts chopped off? Castration, yeah. yeah. I was just about to say that. You took right. the words out of my mouth, mate. Do you know what I mean? The thing is, right, the way I look at it, yeah, if a dog attacks a child, it gets put down, it gets put asleep. So why is it right for a man to go around attacking children left, right and centre? And a, and a they, get, they get a poxy little sentence in prison, usually. Get let out, get their name changed, get shipped to a different location. Do you know what I mean? Or a woman. Yeah, but that's what I mean. It's, why, why does it work like that? If a dog attacks a child, it gets put asleep. Now do you, see the, con does. Now, do you see the contrast of where I'm going with this? Yeah, I do, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I felt bad enough when my missus wants to go and have my cat's nuts chopped off, let alone, like, do you know what I mean? It, oh, I sobbed like a baby when I took my dog to have his off, do mate. You guys get to walk around with all your testosterone floating around you when you're such a danger to people. And I think I've actually seen somewhere this week there's a state in America that have actually started <coughs> chemically, um, the, um, chemically yeah, uh, castrating paedophiles. Yeah, yeah, I see that. So see, something they should adopt over here. It. it was shared on in the community, wasn't it? Mm. So you say you need help. What do you reckon you need help for? Do you want help to stop you feeling sexually attracted to kids? Do you want help because you think it's a mental problem? Or do you want help on where to find more? Yeah, because you just said you needed help. But at the beginning of this, you said you haven't got an attraction to kids. So what do you need the help for? As you said, you need help. So do you have a sexual attraction to kids? So what help do you reckon you need? So you don't know what help you need. So what do you think should happen to you then? And how long for? Do you think that'd help you again to prison? Would it stop you when you come back out? <coughs> you had to think about it. You just had to think about it to say, yeah. So you don't think it's going to help you then? It will help me, yes. So when you come back out, would you do this again? Because your best bet is just getting a phone that doesn't get you onto the internet. Yeah, or have no devices at all. You said it right. That... Do you think that's right? What you should do if you come, if that happens? Once, once your mum and dad find out what's been going on, do you, do you think they're going to let you back in the house? No. Yeah, I don't feel like, because of the little conversation, because I knocked obviously before you arrived and they said, oh yeah, you know, they're good, decent people, they spoke to, do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, your mum said, oh yeah, he only lives here. Yeah, he only <laughs> lives here. And um, they don't need it, do you know, are you an only child? No. No, you said you've got a brother, yeah, brother and a sister, wasn't it? Yeah. 
I mean, thank God for that because, do you know what I mean? How they'll gutted, have, they'll have how, some support. How gutted are they going to be though? That, like, do you know what I mean? One of their children has been caught doing this. This has got to be one of the worst. I mean, you know, when you go down the pub and then like one of the one of the blokes might go, "Yeah, that fella there, he was locked up a few years ago for like burglary or armed robbery or something like that." And you find people are still sat around the table having a beer with him. How many people do you think are going to be sat around that table having a beer with you once they know what you've been up to? No one. No. got nothing to say but you had loads you could say to an 11 year old girl mad isn't it you had enough yeah. to say then didn't you yeah is that because you were typing it rather than speaking yeah. you don't have a lot to say for yourself now you enjoy your job just going off track a little bit yeah, I do enjoy my job, yeah. Been doing it long? Well, I did enjoy my job. Well, I was just about to do that myself. You took the words out of my mouth, because the next thing you were going to say, I should say, did I've you enjoy there, it? I've been there for a year now. Been there for a year? Yeah. Reasonably paid? Quite well paid? For what you do? Yeah. I think it's paid well before. Yeah? Is that not far? Uh, a unit has been dispatched, but once again, guess what? It's been an incident oh, in the yeah. area. Why yeah, do they, they always, always tend to come out when there's been an incident in the area? Yeah, but do you think it's because they know that we're not going to yeah. be doing anything, so he's yeah. safe enough? Yeah. And if something else comes through, they'll go off to that. Yeah, no, but I was just, I was just saying, Lennox, how mad it is that this, um, this guy can have so much to say to an 11-year-old child, but he's kind of gone mute. Yeah. To us. Mad, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. That's what I mean. It. If, say, for example, say. I was 11 year old and I sent you a WhatsApp. I'm sure you'd te text me back quite quickly, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, no, it is, it is extremely dangerous. I don't think, like I say, until that cell door shuts later, I don't think you'll actually comprehend how much stuff you're actually in, buddy. Not too sure if it will then either. Some care what they do, and others are just blatantly don't care and they come out and carry on. And I'm not too sure which way you'll go yet. I don't know whether you'll come out and think I ain't doing that again or whether you'll come out and you'll you'll start speaking to to kids again what do you reckon? what do you reckon you'll do? definitely won't do it when I'm out no? no way I hope so I hope you stick to that in all fairness no way I'll do it when I'm out I hope you stick to it we should do it in the first place because this morning when you're at home could be the last time you're at home for quite a while if you're remanded and then said she don't even get a chance to go back indoors again and that could be anywhere from a few months to several years before you go back in the house uh, have you ever been arrested for anything before no i haven't never in your life no criminal no, record no. or anything never been arrested no. so that might again play part in in a good behavior sort of thing uh, in a sense yeah. so i don't know they it, I feel, you know, it always depends on who the judge is at the time, doesn't it? And, or who the yeah. sergeant is. And yeah, that's the thing. I mean, um... I must admit, this area is usually pretty good, so I'd be surprised if you come home later. I don't think it'll be later anyway. By the time CID have managed to talk to you, it won't be today. You'll have an overnight stay at least. I mean, as you're just saying about not ever wanting to do it again, I hope you don't ever go on the internet again. Honestly, I just stay off it. It's the best thing you can do. Well, at least when you do go on these apps, talk to adults. Like I was explaining earlier, there must be hundreds, hundreds of thousands of adults on these apps and whatever. We'll keep a lookout for you. Rest assured, mate. You won't be able to log on there without us seeing you're on there. Whether you change your name or whatever, we'll find you. You're always going to be silly enough to put a picture up. If you do engage in sexual communication with children again. I just hope you come across a team like ours, which is a highly likely possibility anyway, because like I was saying earlier, 
there's hundreds if not thousands of decoys on all these various different apps and uh, it's only a matter of time if you do go back online speaking to children that you'll come up on one of our radars again whether that be our team or, or like I say yeah, I, hope you'll be too, I hope you'll be too worried to do it I hope you'll sit there and think actually I'm not going to log in because that could be could be Scorpion or whoever it is that comes out at the time couldn't it and just once again decoy has done amazing with you um, you made her feel physically sick um, and the same with, same with all the other decoys up and down the country like exactly. we were saying earlier they're worth their weight in gold without them doing what we do we don't stand we here wouldn't, we wouldn't be out here do you know so, something else as well right? this decoy is a female loads of decoys out there that are males various ages yeah you could be sending your picture of your cock to a man you know that Luckily for you, in this instance, it was a female. Yeah, but it, an so often, female. so often, it's yeah. a man. Yeah. You could be sending. Would you normally send your dick pictures to a man? Yeah. Well, think about that when you next come online, then yeah. So if you go guilty or get found guilty, what do you reckon you'll be known as? Yep, online predator at the minute. We can't call you that because you're not convicted. But I don't think that conviction's far around the corner. You'll be on the sex offenders register. That means anybody can have a look at that. Yeah? Somebody moving into this property, right? You've got all these lovely houses. Somebody wants to move in over there, for instance. They think, do you know what? I'll do a bit of research on that they're area. Not, they're not going to leave me living in that house across the road. No. But what they'll do is they'll come out. Before they move, they can look and they can see what paedophiles and that are in the area. And they can see how safe it is for their kids. I think they're going to want to in Australia, early. I think you once you're convicted, you actually have to put a sticker in your front door window, don't you? Yeah, I think it should be the same. I think, I think it's Australia or Canada or somewhere like that. that. You have to actually put a sticker in uh, your front living room window or wherever it might be to say that you're a convicted paedophile. I'm sure this isn't the way you ever wanted to become famous, was it? No. You're well known now. You know, we're saying that there's a couple of thousand people watching live. Those couple of thousand people have shared it, right? And then a load more have shared those. There'd be thousands of people that have put your picture now and your name all around Facebook. I wouldn't be surprised if when you can next log in, your notifications will be probably already from people saying, you dirty fucker, I've seen you online. Shouldn't be much longer like that. <laughs> Now we can't tell your mum what for because you're over 18 so you're old enough, you're an adult, right? Yeah. We can't tell her. But my Thanks. colleague will do. When you've gone, if my colleague will knock on your door Actually, that was it. and let your yeah. mum know you're okay and he'll let her know you've been arrested, do you want him to tell her anything else? Or is that it? Just to say you've been arrested for, and um, can't say what, you'll need to phone the station and let her phone there, yeah? Yeah. Because we've got to make sure she's alright, she's in the house on her own at the minute. Yeah? Yeah, she's. So when you go, my colleague will knock on the door, he'll do it on his own, so we don't go over there and make your mum feel threatened or anything. He'll go over on his own and he'll just say to her, look, he's been, uh, he's been arrested. I, you know, I, if you want to find out anymore, you'll have to find them. Possibly yeah. might know before that, they might go and just have to search. Yeah. yeah. I, as, a, as a young lady, just notify this. It, it's in America. You have to put a little... Is red, it America? A red signpost outside your house to actually state that you, you've been convicted. Oh, uh, true. I, I thought there is somewhere too, where you have to put a sticker. Too nice over here with human rights to not do it. Yeah. Too lenient. Everybody should know about people like you whether you've only just done it the once or not. Everybody starts from their first time, yeah? yeah. You've said you've not done it before, but this is how everybody starts. Everybody has to start on their first time and then they work their way up. And if you hadn't have been caught, I dread to think what you'd have done next. So it is just you and you and your parents, isn't that it? Yeah, it's just me and my mum and my Did you say one older and one younger sibling? Yeah. So you're not the baby? 
on the middle. <clears throat> Hopefully they're not too long. I, I have just called back and they have said that there's an incident in the area. So, however long they may be. Hopefully they're not as long as that one the other week. Crikey. Oh, mate, I've got a proper sub then. Stood there for three hours waiting for them to turn up. I don't think it's going to be the case today. They did say a unit had been dispatched, but for how long they get here, I'm not sure. And I thought he was our most dangerous until I'd met you. Yeah, again, another 11-year-old. 11-year-old, um, and he come prepared with condoms every intention of raping on actually turned up to a meet and just for anybody watching as well the work t-shirt he's got on isn't where he works and i'm not just trying to say that so you don't target the, their page or whatever on the internet that isn't actually where he works I don't know. God, this is the quietest I've been for a very opinionated person. <laughs> Did I get called that once? Yeah. <laughs> Don't know who you buy though. Nah, <laughs> nor do I. Make a with shotgun anyway. Yeah. You're only security. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you actually doing there? Oh. I hope to God it sinks in for you. I just uh, I find it hard to believe as well. I mean, I don't want to go too much into it, but in relation to your own children, why you had to hand over custody of them, there must be a major reason behind having to do that. They don't just do that on a whim. Something, I mean, you don't have to explain to me. I don't want you to explain to me what the ins and outs of the situation, but any normal human being can just gather for you to have to sign over your children yeah, something major must have gone on. Like, like I say, I, I, don't, I don't need to know the ins and outs of that, but it's just common knowledge. They don't do that overnight on a whim, do you know what I mean? There has to be a significant reason as to why they do that. I think that. it was to do with uh, my daughter's mother. Right, when she okay. was younger. Right, okay. I'm obviously adopting myself as well. Right. I don't know if you ever tell, so these... Adopted parents, yeah. Right, they adopted you. That's what I mean. I just got to what good people they are. That's what I mean. That's what that, that woman was lovely when we knocked that door. And for, for this, I mean, they're going to think that they're brought up such like a brilliant young man holding down a job and all that. You're going to break her up. You have to go in there and tell her what you've done to her. He's going to absolutely tear that woman to pieces. Have you always lived there or did you move out when you had your partner? And Then I moved with my partner, and then I moved back, so I split up. Been back a few years, have Yeah, I've been back a few years. Nice they had you back? No. Yes. I guarantee if I went to my parents, they'd want to go home, they'd tell me where to go. Well, my mum wouldn't. to have a cigarette at all. Yeah, have you got any? I've got some in my car. Oh, I'd rather you don't go to the car. Um, is there anything in your car that you could accuse me of taking if I went and out out? No. Oh, my cigarette's are in my pocket, actually. Sorry, yeah. I thought they were in my car. That's fine. 
you're in my car. That's fine, yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, go on. Yeah, can, yeah, you can smoke away, mate. I mean, you may as well because. You won't be able to when you get yeah, there. Yeah, once you're taken into custody, there'll be uh, no smoking, they don't allow it. Not the sort of people who are going to stop you doing stuff like that. It's not how we work. Yeah, you're going to have to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Can hear Simon in the background. Oh, I've been able to hear him for eight. He's yeah. always hearing him. Yeah. He hears him when they're not even there. Yeah, I think he hears him from my own. He hears him in his sleep, don't you? Anything. I'm heartbroken for, for, for that old lady more than anything. Even more so now, knowing that you know she adopts without. It takes a special person to adopt kids. It takes somebody with a good heart to be able to do that. So I know you've already said it, but nobody is to do anything, come anywhere near the family. Um, most definitely, you know, not involved in any way, shape, or form, and they are really nice people. So the address. Um, and relatives keep away from no nobody knows where we are like i said all, all i've mentioned in it is the london area and that is all that will be mentioned you might like, just L london's a massive area we could be anywhere you might which just is why we wanted you nearer this wall and all because it, you can't yeah. identify nothing being stood in front of a wall do you know what i mean we're not here to be arseholes about the situation you've done what you've done you're going to face the consequences we're going to go home happy days yeah i don't want any more undue attention than it has to have, do you know what I mean? It's not no. fair on anyone else. Just sometimes you might have a mate that takes offence to what you've done and will then tell people who you are, yeah? Yeah. It's the only reason we say it. It's as I said, you're 32 years old, right? And you've single-handedly messed your whole life up, mate. Let's be honest with you. All the pizza, don't it? Everybody else. There's people out there that like, can't get jobs and, and things like that, and do you know what I mean? There's one going in. People that struggle to even get decent accommodation, you've got both, and you're just throwing it down well, you the toilet. Had both, didn't you? I'm not saying you're going to have it anymore. I mean, they might be the sort of people that will allow it. I don't know. I'll very much doubt you know them better than me. No. And do you know what I'd like to think? Even if they did, I'd like to think you'd say to them, I'm not going to bring that to your door. I think what you should do for everything they've done for you over the years is if they do say you can go back and say no and find yourself somewhere else don't bring it to their doorstep yeah? repay what they've given you and don't come back here and give them that reason. It's been a while, I can't really remember. When you were a toddler type thing? When I, I think I was seven. I'm not yeah, sure. so still primary school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long time then. Very long time. our own. Father's Day, I guess you give them a Father's Day card, you treat them as your parents, they treat you as their yeah. son. I don't know what else to say really, I mean, but like I touched upon earlier, a lot a lot of teams that come out and do this, it's quite often, I mean, you, everyone that does this, you're all as equally as bad as each other in my eyes, and you hear people say a lot of the time, oh, it's the worst chat log I've ever seen, and I'm not just saying that for the sake of it this time, yours is the worst I've ever seen, the things that you've been coming out with are just unreal, but to be honest with you, I don't know how else to explain it. 
Yeah, but that makes it more dangerous to go straight in at that rather than building up to it as well. Mm. Personally, I think it does. What used to be over there before? Because I'm guessing they're quite new compared to the others. It was a bungalow before. Give it a couple more minutes and I'll ring back. I actually find it like a bit concerning and all how like your car's been on that drive for what nearly an hour now. And no one come out to see like whether they just assume that you're already in the house, I don't know but no, his, his mum popped her down. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I would have come over and asked what was going on, but, yeah, but obviously, on they, own, yeah, them. obviously they're just that way inclined. They keep themselves to themselves. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So if you've done wrong, they don't want to be involved. I just pray to God that when they download your devices, they don't come across any. any indecent images of children or real children for that matter i hope it is the only the two decoys that we've got on you honest honestly not received images i haven't received any images just uh yeah honestly though yeah honestly because that would be real children if you'd have received them because decoys won't send yeah so i hope that's true which is uh, in some ways Promising that it's, there's no real I hope not. I pray to God there isn't. So that's what I mean. That's another thing. If you'd have thing. told us you received images straight away, you know it's real kids. Yeah, because decoys wouldn't wouldn't do that. But if it, I just hope to God. I mean, we hear it all the time. No, no, I'm not. And then it goes, it ends up going to court and all that, and it all comes out of the woodwork. But do you know what I mean? What did we have that one the other week with his devices? So, Only got one device. Yeah, then he, he stood, slipped he, up and he said he stood had there to our faces and said, no, I've only got my phone. When they searched his ass, they took 16 devices away. 16 so other devices. You can't only believe them. And he had one, and then he said he had a broken laptop, didn't he, or an iPad or something. And then all of a sudden, they find 16. big lad now but maybe get your mum to just phone work and come up with an excuse for tomorrow until you know where your head's at and what's going on <laughs> get Lennox will phone him and I'll, tell him you're poorly I'll, yeah I'll bring him for you <laughs> tell him you're poorly Quite a, this is quite a long wait for us on a weekday. You know, I, thought, I think I it's generally quiet. round about the. Um, don't you? Huh? Yeah, yeah. You don't shut up, this fellow. Now sinking in what you've done. Hey, you've ruined your life. How's your battery doing? Let's see. It's going to be like another three hour one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's going to be another three hour one like the other week. Oh, well, at the right. end of the day, as long as we get one off the street, it doesn't matter, does it?
So what are you thinking now? Well, you've got nothing to say for yourself now. If you would have started talking to her and she turned around and said she was 10, would you have then stop talking to her? Or what, how, how low would you have gone? Do you know what I mean? Would, so if Be you honest, if you, don't, if you can't say, then say you don't know. <coughs> I wouldn't have gone lower than 11. So that that's, that's says to me that that's like your general age preference, 11 sort of onwards. So kids that are in early secondary school then? wouldn't go down to primary school age. It's wrong regardless, I mean, I think the legal age of consent should be like you first said to us, 18, I think it should be maybe even higher than that. Um, That's what they say, your, your brain hasn't finished until you're 18, 21. I mean, mine never started, so I don't know. Yeah, I, I generally, I generally feel it should be higher than that myself. Yeah. Uh, I think at 16, I don't think you're able to sort of make decisions like that yourself in my eyes. You haven't lived enough, have you? You're, oh, you're still a child in my eyes at, yeah. at that age. Yeah, but you are because um, you're still teen. Yeah. You know what I mean? 18, 19, it's not until you're 20, 21 that you then become... 21's your big birthday where you're like, oh yeah, I'm 21 now, I'm an adult. So. Be nice to see it at 21. It never happened, though. Eh? Well, I mean, it's more like in, in relation to like America, and it. What's it like to drink and, and smoke and all that over there? Yeah, I think lot, it's like 21 older, and that. Older, yeah, yeah, yeah a, lot, a lot older than here. Can't even have a drink with a meal over there, can you? Like, mm. you, like you can here. Glad we've caught you. To stop you going any further. Well, there you go. We agree on something, but are you glad we caught you? In the sense of, what if you'd have met this child next weekend? Hey, glad we've stopped you getting that far. I don't think you'd have been able to stop yourself, do you? Honestly. Don't know, dear. So you can't, you can't categorically see what, what I'd have said to that way was, you know, I'd have given an answer, but you can't answer it, can you? Because you don't know how far you'd have gone. I mean, I, I, in my personal opinion, you've gone far enough already without no, but it, I, even I'm doing that. It, do you know, you know what is I mean? glad we like, stopped him because I, yeah. I don't think, I don't think you know how to stop yourself. But it's like I said near the beginning. You, you're lucky for for yourself. There's a team like ours that have come out and called you. Lucky it's um, not my daughter. I'd have found you on my own. You wouldn't have been seen again. Yeah, that's a, that's. A, I think that's a stance a lot of parents would take. Do you know what I mean? It, like you even said to me, being a parent yourself, you, you'd want to kill someone if they did it to your kids. But it makes just it just a natural reaction, isn't it? But then you, it makes it alright for you to do what to what you believed was someone else's kid online. So it wouldn't be alright for someone to do it to your own kids, but it'd be alright for you to inflict that on someone else's. It just doesn't tally up. Back again, 
and uh, see how long they're going to be. It's not, we can't stand here all day because people are going to start noticing what we're doing and that. I think we've been here long enough and kept the under wraps for this long. Well, we rode that about. Yeah, like travellers go past a couple yeah. of times. Mm. Realising you're just about to lose everything. So when we come over here, then you knew what we was here for, then did you? Where the suspicion why we were? No, it's when you started talking about when we were here, standing over here. Did you wonder though when we came over to you? No, I thought it was uh, about the car. I didn't realise it was about this. Why? What's wrong with your car? So cousin. Huh? My car's, uh, I'm paying my car on finance. Uh -huh. I thought you were coming to pick my car up because I missed the payment. That's what I thought you were here. So the potentially you can lose that as well then because you're not going to have a job, are you? Yeah. I don't know how people honestly think it's worth it. Yeah. Could be coming up this hill. It might be your taxi. Well, I don't think they're going to allow you to do that, and we can't either. We can't allow you to go in there because obviously you could lock yourself in and harm yourself. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Oh, ambulance. Huh? There's an ambulance car. Was it? They might, you'll have to ask them, but as far as I know, it'd be, I'm not too sure if they'll allow you. They might if they go with you and stand outside the door, I suppose. But, I mean, I'm not saying we we can't let you because we're being funny with you. The only reason we can't let you is because if you do go in there, bathrooms, we've got razors and all sorts in there. There's nothing stopping you from slicing your wrist, is it? Yeah. yeah? Or, or, or grabbing your phone and like Yeah, exactly. Or grabbing a knife where you're in there. So it's just not, we can't do it. I mean, the police, you'll have to talk to them. Before anybody says we're doing it to be mean, we're doing, doing it for reasons. reasons. Just travelling along those tags, like they said, there's been an incident in the area. Um, so, unfortunately. We seem to pick a lot of times when there's incidents in the area. Yeah, I know. We, we've had a bit of bad luck with that lately. Last no. week or two. Uh, they'll be here in Joe Coles and... Uh, oh well, they'll be here in there, yeah. That's probably a bit painstaking standing here for near one an hour or whatever, but it's been quite painstaking for the length of time that my decoys had to spend talking to you. So I think an hour of your time stood here waiting for the busies to turn up, it, 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 in contrast, is nothing really. Regardless of like the other images, well not regardless of it, but the colleague was saying earlier, one of the certain images that you sent of your car on your driveway, weren't very hard for us to figure out where you really, really do it, even in regards to adults. You want to be really careful who you send pictures like, of your location to because, do you know what I mean? But the worst things you've sent are the videos and the images of yourself, I mean. Somebody clever would be able to get the data out of the picture. 
Say where it was taken. Yeah, well, I mean, like it's he identified earlier, as you quite clearly said, that that was taken in your bedroom, and you can see, like, your bedroom in the background. So they'll marry that picture up with your bedroom. And so, like, like that was when I was trying to say to you by denying it, not many people have gone running up in your bedroom, took a picture of their penis, and sent it to someone else. If they, it's only going to have come from yourself, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, obviously, once you've taken it, it was on your phone. So I'm guessing you've probably sent it to the other decoy as well. I've just had information come through that uh, a young child has actually gone missing in the local area recently, <clears throat> whether they've been located yet or not. Probably explains why we're waiting a little while because all the resources will obviously be put into finding that child and yeah, making well, sure they're okay. I'm, um, I don't mind waiting, I'm healthy, so. Sort out what they have to sort out. I really do appreciate the way we've handled it as well. Like I was saying earlier, this is a lot better here, confined to where we are, than rather on your doorstep where, where it can be heard by everyone. That's right, where we've been respectful, we've, 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 taking you away from there. I don't know. I just don't know what else to I like to say, again, one of the worst. Not, not what this is the worst, I keep saying it, but it, you're all bad in your own way, shape, or form. But some of the things that you've sent and said are just, it's, I, I, I can't even explain it to be honest with you, it is beyond me. Looked like you started to panic when we first approached you on your driveway. What did you think? Like someone was going to like thought it was come with his car? Oh, was it? Yeah. Some finance and he's missed a payment. Oh, uh, no, I thought I'd missed a payment. That's why I thought. Oh, was it? Get the car, yeah. Yeah. Oh. But I said he's probably going to miss a few more without a job. It's like, like I was explaining to you earlier. It's not just the effect that it has on the child involved and yourself, the family members. This is going to have a downward spiral on the rest of your life. It really is. It's going to be a big black cloud that is going to hang over your head for the rest of your life. Well, it's a stigma you can't get away from once you're branded that. It's one of the hardest things to, you know, even in prison, you know, people are in there for horrible crimes, but paedophiles, are, they can't tolerate them. You know, and that's criminals. Even criminals have got morals where they won't tolerate somebody that's done that. They have to be put on a separate wing, looked after. Oh yeah, you'll be segregated. Body coddled and all um, sorts. Yeah, you're... Treated a lot better than the others. And that's because the other inmates, had, if they got hold of a paedophile, they, they kill them, they won't think twice. I mean, in my, my, my opinion, I, I believe you all be mixed up together. It might make people think... That, was that went straight past. It yeah, might make people them. actually think twice about committing a crime like this. If you're going to... If, if you knew that you weren't going to be protected if you went up from prison in prison from doing it, yeah. I think a lot of people would actually contemplate doing it. Put them on the same wing as everybody else. Yeah. If you're big enough to do the crime, isn't it? Yeah, I think people take, they, they take that twice. opportunity as such, knowing yeah. that if they do get caught, they will be protected and they won't get beaten up and whatever and so forth. Yeah, but not only do you get protected, you come out with qualifications for all sorts. and It's disgusting, to be honest. Uh, so, I mean, it's not just like yourself, like you single chap and all that, do you know what I mean? You could quite easily go out go on a pool, like I was saying earlier, take someone out for dinner, buy a drink, whatever. But we catch people, like married men and kids and all that, that do it as well. Do you know what I mean? So it ain't just the, the We've old... stung them this far away from their house with the kids indoors because we don't want their kids to know. And they've got kids younger or the same age as who they're talking to. And it's just disgusting. They've got a lovely little family going and a, you have people with top-end jobs and all sorts. And... There is no, there's no set person that will do it. 
Which is why we asked the I mean, question there, on what there, there isn't any set person that, like you say, does this. People that do this come from all walks of life. Yeah. Don't matter what your religion is, what your job is, what your status is, whatever. No. People from all walks of life. Don't matter where you're from. Yeah, whether you're rich, poor, whatever. You know what I mean? It's, if that's the way you're inclined, which is why we was trying to say about earlier, if that's the, the sort of attraction you have, then that's the way you're inclined in my, in my eyes, and, and that will never change. Um, that's why we try finding out what makes you do it. You know, it's like if, if for instance, you are to go down a pub, you're typically like either interested in blonde women or brunettes or so on and so forth. People that do people this, are boob to a bum, man. yeah, but people that do this quite clearly is because that's that's what they're attracted to, in my eyes. There has to be some kind of attraction, or else you wouldn't do it, would you? So there has to be something somewhere, whether it's deep in the back of your mind, there has to be some part of your mind that's telling you that there is not necessarily a sexual attraction, but an attraction. There has to be, whereas you don't act upon it. So as much as people don't like to admit it, I, I can't see how you can't have an attraction. No. no it's like we were saying, the chap we caught the other day was, was the first who actually admitted to us. He didn't admit that he had a sexual attraction towards children, but no, he did say there was an attraction. attraction. Yeah. Um, yeah, he admitted he was attracted to him. And is, is, do you see where I'm coming from with that though? Does that make look sense Look how well he was doing for himself from he, what Do you know what I mean? Whether about. you're interested in older women, younger women, blondes, brunettes, whatever it might be. Like my colleague said over there, whether they've got big boobs or big bum, whatever it, your Everybody's whatever your preference, preference may be. Obviously, people that are engaging in sexual communication with children have a preference towards that. Would that make sense? You see where I'm coming from, like? It's still there, yeah. The Gary's nodded off. Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, we don't like having to come out and do this. I mean, we take pleasure in coming out and doing this, but we don't like having to do I'd rather it. We didn't, I'd rather there was nobody that needed catching. Like yeah, it. That, that's, that's the point I'm getting at. We, we've been out, what's this, the third one this week or whatever? Yeah, we've been busy, haven't we, the do last week? you know what week? I mean? And the, the list is endless. Every time I believe one person is caught, five to ten more will emerge. And they're not on your doorstep. You know, we don't, we take hours and hours out of our day. You know, we don't, you know, we pay for our own fuel. It's all self-funded. Don't get any help for it, we do all that. Let me let me take that yeah, for, you for a minute, Gal. Go on, go and have a stretch. If you had some meat on your bones, you wouldn't hurt, would it? Yeah, for anyone asking, the, the only location you're going to get out of us is that we're in the London area. I won't disclose which part of London we're in, for obvious reasons. Don't need, I don't know what people ask, you don't need to. They don't need to know why. No. Alright. Yeah, wrong yeah. You know, I'm not paying to get him there and all. Jesus. Is that why you didn't speak? Because your arm was aching. I might take over for a minute for him. We're getting told to be quiet and let you speak, and you don't say nothing. Are you cold? We were going to go to Mackie D. I haven't got anything I can do. Well, what I could, what I could do is I could get one of my colleagues to go and have a, have a chat with, with his mum, get him to jump, jump off. Obviously, we're, we're not arseholes, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I've got to jump in the back seat of my car. Just, just, own, just grab that I'm out. I'm not sure if my car's open though. I can't remember if I locked it. Can I take your key? I don't think you did. You just confirm on there I'm allowed to go in your car and get something. Yeah, I mean. Back seat of my car. We're not arseholes, do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, till till the police arrive, we've got a duty of care towards you. Um, not here, as you're, as you're fully aware, we're not here to be violent or anything like that. I just want you handed over, booked in, mate. That's all I really want. I want you on that register and all.
Thank you. No, my legs ain't aching either. It's my back that's aching. Stand in there for ages. Yeah. And then put your jacket on. Just drop it down, go past the morning. Pass your mate. I've done your window up and locked it. Any, anything else though, you, you might want to say? I mean, I know you've admitted it, it, you've been a bit stupid and whatever, but I think it goes a bit uh, a bit more than that, doesn't it? Being, being stupid is putting like one too many sugars in, in your coffee or, or, or whatever, in it. You know what I mean? We're getting a speeding ticket going around Dove. Yeah, all that. stupid. Yeah. Yeah, for anyone complaining about uh, the signal and the blurriness, unfortunately, we can't do much about the signal. So, they are coming. There's been a major incident in the area, so however long we're here is however long it takes. Was it still? Yeah, I've got all that ready, yeah. I didn't know if you had it. Yeah. I do feel a bit bad we can't let you go to the toilet, but I hope you can understand why. We'll tell them how long you've been waiting to go. Hopefully they'll... Yeah, I mean, they'll one, one, once they arrive, yeah, you... They'll, they'll probably let you go in. But, um, as long as they're with you. As we say, at the moment, there, there's not much we can do about that, unfortunately. But when they're here, we won't delay you being able to get in there, right? Yeah, there's all, I mean, generally everyone commenting about the incidents in the London area. We have had information come through that a um, child's gone missing in the local area. And uh, I think somebody else has just said about a stabbing going on in London on the news. So, um, London, it is, yeah, I've just took the words right out of my mouth. It is London after all. And no, I haven't strunk. I'm sitting on the grass because my back's absolutely killing me. I don't matter where we are. It takes as long as it takes, doesn't it? No. Whether we get home early or late. Top, topping up your tan from last week, mate. Ah, mate, it's all peeled off. Right. Tan's all peeled off. It's gone. I tell you what's nicer here. Yeah. Are you taking it back, are you? Do you miss your camera? Yeah. Okay. He's Touching missing it. No. He wants it back. Touch his phone for five. <laughs> yeah. That's my job. <laughs> That's my job. Oh I mean, now that we've been here a little while, maybe if I asked the, the question I asked earlier, like, what, why, why is it do you think that you've done this? Do not many women engage with you or something when you're, you're online trying to talk to women or something? Or on, what, you find kids easier to talk to or something like that? I mean, I'm not, do you know what I mean? I'm obviously not trying to put words in your mouth. I'm asking you, like, could that be a possibility? Yeah. Right. Like, yeah, something must have changed, though, must it, three weeks ago? Or did you, did it start with the intention of just talking and then just got carried away, or what? No, yeah, just talking. Just talking, got carried away. 
like I said earlier though, I mean, even on the up, you were sort of bang straight in. Do you know what I mean? With the whole, you look sexy baby, like for, bit, for someone who's 11 and that. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's not normal behavior at all. I know I've said it already, but four years difference between your eldest. Not a lot, is it? Imagine somebody doing that to yours in four years' time. Do you, do you understand, obviously, why we don't we're here and we're doing what we do? And it is a growing, it's a growing problem in this country. It's because, just non-stop, isn't it? Um, uh, the thing is, the sentences ain't harsh enough as far as I'm concerned. If, um, it, if it weren't for the fact you handed over really, you know, some because you, you have to for safety issues, I think we'd, we could be out every day of the week, couldn't we? Yeah, I mean... Um, and that's just our team and there's hundreds out there. Well, so, I mean, we, we've all got our families of our own and that, you know what I mean? We, we don't need to be coming out, although we do, and, and we enjoy what we do, because somebody has to do it, do you know what I mean? The, the police, not knocking them or anything, they do, I mean, look at it now, they're stretched to the max, they've got a child guy missing in the area, there's been a stabbing in the area. But they don't they have... haven't got the time, or the funding, to sit online and talk to you for however many weeks it might say, be. Have, it's, it's, not just no, a, I, it's not just a day or two, it's you know, three or four weeks at a time. They do their it's best. not the police's fault, it's, no, it's the government, it's even, funding cuts and, and, even and the left police right will, Even the police will say sometimes people don't get a strong enough sentence, but again, it's out of their hands once they've done their bit. Yeah. CPS, it's, it's them that every now and again, unfortunately, look as though they let the system down a bit. I mean, I think in, in some cases, do you know what I mean? People who go and shoplift get more of a harsher sentence than, than some all people sorts. all do. They're put on tagged and everything. Yeah. But at least, even if you was to get a suspended sentence or whether it could be the outcome of this, I, I don't, like we said, we don't know. You could get custodial, you could get suspended. That all depends on how you are when you're in interview. And the evidence is actually quite damning against yourself anyway. Um, the main reason we do this is so you're then on their radar as such. It's all about the register yeah, as well. You're then on that register, whether that be for 10 years indefinitely, however long they decide, like I say, it's down to the judge. Um, you slip up again and you will face the consequences. Do you know what I mean? Uh, that's, that's the minimum outcome that we can possibly hope for, is, is that you will end up on the register, but like I say, whether that be a custodial or suspended sentence, they'll, they'll tie in with that, will again be down to them. Well, like I said, if it's, if it's a suspended sentence, so keep off. Every time you think about logging in, think to yourself, hang on a minute, is this going to be one of those teams? Because a rear offender won't get away with it twice. You might get suspended first time, depending on your previous history and all that sort of stuff and the extent of what the chat is, but they won't give you that opportunity twice. Look for somebody your own age. Even somebody 21. Yeah? Set yourself a limit. Don't go below it. Again, it brings me back to like, the, the, the preference thing I was explaining to you earlier. Some some men like older women. Some men do like younger women. There's just a limit to how younger you can go. Do you know what I mean? Personally, I, I don't think you should go with, with anyone you are. Do you know what I mean? My personal preference is older women, to be <laughs> completely honest with you. But like I say, each person, as I was explaining earlier, has a different preference. And yours quite clearly being somewhere inside you have a preference towards children i can't explain it any any better than that that's how it looks from where i'm standing and how the evidence that i've got in my pocket looks as well
I mean, it's like that. The, this report that we've had of a child that's gone missing. That will just be mistakenly. They've gone off up the park, not come in when, when their mother's to told them to, or, or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Not come in on time. So the mother's obviously concerned and rung it in. Street lights then on, yeah. Um, if next weekend that you would have gone and what met what you believed was an 11-year-old child, that could have then been the reason they were out looking for a missing child next weekend because she could have well been kidnapped. I mean, I'm not saying that was your intention. Your intentions or what we know were quite clear, but it can lead to that. Do you know what I mean? You hear about it in the news all the time. Well, that's what all I, the time. That's what I told you, wasn't it? Yeah, things could have gone too far, and you could have then thought, "Shit, am I going to cover this up?" There was only one way to cover it up, and then and that's how that comes about. You wouldn't have intended to, but in you know, in blind panic, thinking. Oh, I believe it's been going for like an hour, been here about an hour and 50 minutes. And he was asked earlier on, near the beginning, are you sorry for what you've done? And he didn't give us a response. Now you've sat here and had that time. Anything you want to say to the decoy? You were given that cops. opportunity earlier and just blanked it. You know, the poor, poor woman that's had to listen to your vile chat. The poor woman that's had to see pictures of your penis. And yet again, there's nothing you want to say to her. Is there? Sorry. When we've told her over and over again how upset she's been with it. So, I mean, generally, I'm like, sorry, I, like I, I feel sorry for her. Like I explained, if it was just like, I say, a general chat log, but there's no such thing because they're all as vile as the No, but the one, lower level. Um, you would have been left until next weekend, when, and I would have got you at that meet because then it would have been a stronger case against you. But just because of the sheer severity of your chat log, you couldn't be left until then, just in case there was the risk of, of real children you were talking to, and, uh, and so on and, and, and so forth. Yeah, and, and more more for, for my decoy, because she just couldn't bear coping with you anymore, because she just couldn't put up with it. You were relentless. And it's not often, I mean, these decoys, like I say, have done this day in, day out. Some of them have done it for years, right? They can bear with your average run-of-the-mill person that does this sort of stuff to them. But she said, you, you need to go and get him. You've got to go and get him because she just couldn't bear with you any longer. And usually they can stomach it and put up with it for another week. And like I say, until I would have got you next week. But she just couldn't bear with you anymore. When did this come about? Were you letting us know yesterday or the day before? It was only been yeah, 24, I, that's what I mean because been 24 hours notice for us, isn't it? Yeah, like that. that's it. I had to because as soon as I looked at it, I mean, preferably, like I say, I would have come and got you next weekend and, and made a stronger case. I mean, it's, it's already there in the chat log. You've already mentioned it. Whether it's taken into consideration or not will, again, as my colleague said earlier, be taken into consideration by the CPS. That's down to them what charges they decide to pick out the chat log. Um, but if I would have got you at the scene of the meet as well, you would have, it would have stuck the last nail in your coffin, in my eyes. <coughs> so much for getting out of getting this done and getting home for a bit of late dinner, eh? I know. Ain't gonna be happening now. I'll be a late supper instead, mate. Like a kebab. You spend too much time, man. Like a kebab shop, you do, mate. <laughs> could I weren't talking to you, I was talking to him. Yeah. Could, <laughs> be, could be a Mackey D's, but other fast food outlets are available. Do you think this is some sort of promotional advert? <laughs> <one? laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, I reckon they're late for the dinner and all. Yeah, I reckon they've been held up. He nearly didn't stop, he was that busy watching us, you see. Yeah. Locked the back wheel up, he's like, ah, I'm going to make a better stop. Possibly. Might have, 
uh, long term borrowed them by the, way, done. by the way they were being driven yeah or ridden yeah that one whichever <laughs> picky bollocks <laughs> sorry mate it's because I'm too opinionated Rubbish day, you've just been out for rubbish in the bins. Yeah, it's rubbish day. <laughs> just didn't even look over. Yeah, not a lot gets to our shanty, not a lot at all. She's put up with some uh, some right vile people, but you got to her. Like I say, she's done amazing, I think, to hold up with you for as long as she get, did. Get this one for her and it starts again the next Yeah, one. yeah. It's like I was, like I was explaining to you. The have to go through it day over day, you know. Every time we day. catch one person, you could bet you... There's again, another one ready. Bet you left not five or ten will resurface by tomorrow. Um, yeah, and the poor decoys have to go through it all again. We get the easy job. We don't see all that chat. We just see the end of it. When it's... You know when there's enough evidence to come out and get you. So respect to the decoys, because I I won't get a dip. I'd have been locked up a long time ago. Oh. Cold. So what are you going to do when you get in the police station then? Are you going to cough or are you going to put her through more than she's already been through? I don't think that's going to be... I mean, like I say, my, my colleague said it as well earlier, we can't tell you the course of action to take it. My advice to you... Be would, man up. ...would be to plead man guilty. Man up, cough up and say, look, I've done And it. don't put the poor girl through enough than she's already had to go through. Either way, either way, you... I wish they didn't put it through. I know. Well, yeah, but it's always too late then. Whatever happens, you're in trouble over it. The extent of trouble that you're in all goes down to you. That, that bit so, is done now. That bit is done now, right? You've got yourself... Now is the turning point where you've got to start working your way out of it, yeah? Well, not work your way and, out of it, but... No, but working towards... The, the route you want to take. Putting, it, putting an end to it. It, it. This is the start to an end as such, do you know what I mean, right? You, you've now, like my colleague just said, grow up here basically, be a man about it, say, look, I've, I messed, did it. I've messed up. Do you know what I mean? I was a bit of a knob. Yeah, I shouldn't have done what I did. And take the consequences on the chin at the end of the day. Either way, there are going to be consequences. It's just whether you go yes or no on how bad the consequences are. You can't get out of it. There is no way of getting out of it and saying you never sent anything. One, you've admitted it all on a live recording and two we've got the evidence anyway yeah? yeah so man to man just giving you some advice you know, you know the evidence is there because we've been able to tell you things that only we'd have known if we'd have got the evidence yeah True. so there's two ways of doing it the quicker you hold your hands up in there the quicker you're out or you can go down the other route and think I'll get away with this I guarantee you, whatever happens you won't get away with it just the severity of how you dealt with will come down to how you are with them. All right? And you know what? You, you may be going down that route of manning up a bit, yeah? Might save these good people quite a bit of hassle. Yeah, so think of them as well. So if you were, if you were seven eight nine ten when they took you in yeah that's over 20 years 25 years of them treating you as their own so think about that when you ask the question whether you you know when you get the opportunity to either cough or go quiet solicitor is always going to tell you to say nothing and everybody's in their right to take that but think about what could happen from it talk to your solicitor properly and say, look, yeah, well, I can go no comment, but what good's that going to do me? According to what I've been told, that child has been found now. So it's hopefully, 
hopefully we shouldn't be making much longer. Another cigarette. Yeah. Yeah. Smoke. Help smoke away to your heart. Smoke one eight. after the other. They don't do you as much harm as they say they do anyway. Like four minutes another team have been live and the police are there already i'll take that yeah but they were around the corner <laughs> I'll we've take had that. them in we've had them in five six minutes haven't we yeah but that's just luck of the draw mate mm. depends where you are in relation to a police station and how busy they are yeah i mean what are we now 20 past eight what are you gonna do chase them at our past and just see yeah well i've rung three times already all they keep saying is that they're gonna get to us when they can First guy said they'd be here within 15 minutes. Second one said it would be within the hour. Oh yeah, but his watch has um, stopped, isn't it? Like I say, in the contrast of, of a child going missing and a stabbing in the area, so obviously they're going to be prioritised. Um, I mean, again, like in relation to that, even like with the grooming side of things, police are busy enough already and they've now got to come and deal with you. Do you know what I mean? They've got enough to do already. They don't need to be coming out and dealing with people that can't keep themselves to themselves over a phone. Do you know what I mean? It's a good point. Could be out there saving somebody's life instead of dealing with you when they get here. That's what I mean. If, if we would have been in slightly earlier and that unit would have been dispatched and arrived, when that child got rung in that had gone missing, would they be too busy here tied up with because you've been getting your jollies off online to go and look for... Uh, a real missing child. I never thought that. That's a good point. Uh, it is though. That's what I mean. They're up against it. It's not the police's fault, in my eyes. I know some people watching might disagree with me. It's not. They face nothing year upon year of cutbacks, at left, right, and centre, and whatever. And they're still supposed to cope with, with the culture. What, what was that we had the other day when the Met Police came out and they had the recruitment sticker in the back window because mm. they said they'd had all these cutbacks, realised that they've shot themselves in the foot and now they're having to go on a recruitment drive for it yeah. and get people in but what they've done is they've got rid of the higher end people that are higher paid bringing in new ones because they're on less money and it's a shame they've got to do that and now they're on a massive recruitment drive because there's not enough not enough police on the streets we all know that it's not their fault it's not them that say the cutbacks have got to happen is it government and I don't do politics. No, I know I don't. I don't, I don't, even... don't follow that at all. <laughs> Not my idea of fun. My colleague might. He looks like a boring place. He's listening. Yeah, I think he's dozed off again. Yeah. <laughs> he's nodded off. Right enough. Yeah, the only one saving grace, I'll say, in waiting this amount of time is that your dad's been gone out since we pretty much arrived just uh, just after you got back from work yeah. now i prefer the place to be ar arriving when he's back to obviously comfort your mum as well that's that's my only main con my main concern now isn't you you're dealt with it as far as no, i'm concerned you're go you're going to be handed over when they arrive the other people in my the main house. concern now is the effect that it's going to have on that that lady in the house and i prefer it if he was back before they arrived to, to be able to support her. I mean, again, like what we've been saying about incidents in the area and that. Now imagine if someone walking past, you know what this area is like, yeah? Imagine if someone cottoned on to what we were doing. We then got to put ourselves in the way to protect you. Because if anything happens to you while we're here, we're going to get in the firing line. Yeah? And, and the area we're in ain't exactly pleasant, yeah? Someone cottons on to what you've been doing and decides to come over and give us grief. We've then got to intervene. One of us could get stabbed here and we've all got kids at home. Reactions, I've reactions to that, and it all 
I don't know where they were going, they were late for dinner, they might have fine. Well, somebody come down here a bit, you see two lads on bikes. Mm. Oh, it's not missing. They yeah. went that way. Yeah, I don't reckon they belong to them, not the way. You you wouldn't ride your own personal bike like that, I don't think. Well, I don't know, I used to sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, there you go then. <laughs> I used to sometimes. Why have a 1,000 cc, 180 mile an hour bike and only do 30, mate? Hence a speeding ticket. Yeah. I've got to pay that before I go to court. Oh. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes and I'm going to try and ring back again. Because I'm going to start bringing a sleeping bag and a flask for me. As I say, unfortunately, we can't pick and choose when we. Uh, when we do this is when it is mate. i think we've just been unfortunate the past couple of times that um something's been going on i think i'm going to invest in a selfie stick for gary though so he ain't gonna stand there hold that phone if we can just get a plant it in there that's what you want he needs a tripod he can plant it, just stick it on the ground put his phone in it that's a remarkable job though Man, a few words. Mm. Mm. At the moment, you've got a look on your face like you don't really care, and there's no remorse. I think it's a bit like this evening, isn't it? I think by now, you would have been in, probably had your shower, been sat there in your bedroom, editing the... Had your dinner that your mum would have made for you. E editing the pictures of, of the decoy with your messages all over them, sending them back to her, or sending her more pictures of your penis by now. So already we've, we've prevented that this evening. Yeah, nobody needs to see those pictures again. Right, I'm going to record that again now. Yeah, go on then.
So now realising that your life's gone to pot. Because you keep going to this deep thought. Ending a lot differently at the end of the day than it was at the beginning. I mean, you had a good home. Good job. In the a year. Got yourself a good car. Doing relatively well for yourself, isn't it? All worth it? Hey? That's what baffles me why people like you do it. When you've got, you, you live in a really nice neighbourhood. Nice home, good size. Nice parents. I can't see how it can be the same after now. One thing I will ask you, actually, may have had a bit of time to mull things over. Um, you know, you've, you've had a few times in your life when it hasn't gone well, yeah? yeah. Obviously, your real parents, your kids, any of those times during any of that, did you get yourself really low where you'd ever consider harming yourself? Be open and honest. I've done it. I've cut myself before. I just do it all the time. Recently or, or quite yeah, a while ago? Years ago. Years ago, when you were younger? Uh, I was 18 when I did it. What about something like this? I haven't done this before. No, as in what you've done now, would something like this make you have those thoughts. There must be a reason why people self-harm. I mean, everybody has different reasons and, and I don't mock anybody that self-harms because, you know, they it, it's for a reason. And what I'm trying to get at is with this happening now and you realising how your life's changed, would so could something like this make you have those thoughts of self-harming again? That's what I need to know because obviously that sort of stuff we need to pass on to the police just for your welfare. I'm not asking because I'm trying to be funny about your past. I'm asking because at the end of the day, we've got a duty of care, which is why we've, you know, we've been respectful with you. Yeah? yeah. Um, see, I just, I just like an honest answer. Do you think that something like this will get you down that low when you're sat in a cell on your own that you might think of it? Or if you've had those thoughts before, is there a possibility? Should I hand that information to the police for a safeguarding and just say, keep an I'll eye on him? I don't think I will do that, no. no. So you don't think this bothers you as much as the things that you used to that made you self harm before? Or is it that you've grown up a bit more now? I've grown up a bit more, that's why I stopped self harming. Yeah? yeah? I hope you understand why I've had to ask that. It's obviously. If I thought there was a risk of any sort, then I'd have to hand it over and they'd just keep a close eye on you. Doesn't mean they'd section you and lock you up with a straitjacket, it just means that they'd keep an eye on you and make sure you're alright. But we'll just hold off for a minute. We were already. Um, sorry, we just have to stop sometimes because there are kids coming past. Okay, so you, you don't you don't think you, you're any risk to yourself. No. If that changes, whilst you're in custody, let them know. Yeah. Whether you get anxious, I mean, every people act differently. We've both had jobs where we might have worked in that kind of environment before, yeah. So when you're in that cell and the door locks behind you, there will be a buzzer. If you've got any concerns, let somebody know. Yeah. There are people there to help. There's always a nurse. They'll always get you that help. But even people like you, we have to care about. Well, we're with you. I'm not saying I'll talk very nicely about you when you've gone, but whilst you're in our, whilst you're in our care, it's our duty to make sure you're all right.
Same answer as before. Yeah, they're still dealing with major incidents in the area. Um, that guy walked past, really dodgy walking down here. <laughs> They're not too long, you're starting to cool down a bit now, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I've got a lot of cushioning, but I still feel the cold every now and again. <laughs> you know when you go home sometimes and you think that's sunk in I don't reckon it has today no offence to you I think I'm going to go home thinking well all that time talking has done nothing. Don't you think that? Mm -hmm. With this one? Everybody coached differently, I suppose. Nice when the sun was shining on this corner. No, it's dropping. I can't even see where there is any sun to walk to. <laughs> yeah, we're still going, there's been a major incident in the area. We phoned about four times now to try and get an update. so lucky for months and months and months of the last couple quick response times and for the last what, couple of weeks isn't it I suppose the luck had to run out eventually usually really lucky
And so I'm not talking whispering about you. I'm just we're just trying to get it organised at the police turn up. So what's going through your mind now? Seventy, we're over seventy. I'm seventy-two. I think you've done seventy-four. Yeah. Mm. Glamorous lady when she was younger. Then. Seemed really nice. If this was outside somewhere busy waiting this long, we'd be struggling to keep people away. Well, different kind of weather. Yeah. At the moment, the police have not given us an ETA time because of the incident that's going on in the area. This is Adam32 on the app. That's had a real bad sexual conversation with 11 year old decoy who was arranging to meet her next week but the chat is that bad we've had to come out and get him tonight I think at the moment it's now sinking in
Oh, that guy was having a stretch, mate. Mm -hmm. Hopefully not much longer now, mate. <clears throat> yeah. So I've just had to have a chat with your neighbours and try and calm them down because obviously people have cottoned on that why we're here and like I said to you earlier, once people start realising they're not going to be particularly happy, that young lady I just spoke to there has actually got an 11 year old daughter that walks past your house on a daily basis, so she's absolutely fucking living. Job you bought that charger pack because I reckon we would have gone through a few phones yeah. by now. I think we'd be on the third phone. See what mine's got. I think mine's fully charged. 85%. Mine goes down really quick though when you start recording. Mm, that's what I mean. That's, that, that's, that's like part of the severity of it. Like, I mean, that woman's going to be petrified to let her child leave the house now in case she walks past someone along the street. Do you know what I mean? You live a handful of doors away from her. It's true what they say, you never know what's behind closed doors, do you? No. I think she was actually... Oh, that's a nice V8 auto there, isn't it? Mm. I think she actually come out because she was concerned about why four fellas have been stood on the corner of her road for the past two hours. Probably. I think that was her initial concern. You never know, hopefully she'll call it in and help. She's concerned. Don't know. Right, so what, what can we say if there's something going on in here? We haven't got a magic stick, we can't just go like, you know what I mean? Here we go, please. Yeah, please this time. Oh, I think that might be it. Every time we hear it, they go up that road. And they yeah, go straight I think, past. I think that might be it. It's got to be one of them soon, isn't it? Yeah. That's what like I was explaining to the chap earlier. Do you know what I mean? When people cotton on while we're here, Look how many incidents they're currently dealing with and how long they've took to get here. Yeah, if we're being it ain't, attacked. It ain't the nicest of it. No, but it's not the nicest of areas, do you know what I mean? I was just saying though, when you're over there, imagine if this was in you know a really busy area really. Mm. Luckily Just trying to keep you safe would be hard work. Luckily we're off the main road here. And Wouldn't it? Just trying to keep them safe would be hard work for hours. That car just go past now, turning around. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. People are twigging while we're here now. So. They like to be nosy, don't they? Normally parks down the road. Really. Oh, Does it? he? Yeah. We've taken up all the spaces. The well, we've got three cars here, so we've got one each. I sat in my parking spot when I go. I mean, that woman, she's distraught, mate. A, a, a daughter come to the door and I, like, I asked her to go in while I explained what was going on here because she's that concerned, do you know what I mean? And it, it's even affected her, no? She'll probably never let her little girl run up to the shops again to go and get a pint of milk or nothing because you can't do that these days because there's too many people about that are just not right-minded. Do it, don't care about that though, mate. Do they? Nope. I think I'm 
themselves and their own sexual gratification, not the consequences. It's like another thing as well, like some of the times at night when you've been absolutely like hounding the life out of this 11 year old decoy, messaging and messaging and messaging. 11 year olds should be in bed at that time of night, like getting some kit ready to go to school the next morning and that. Do you know what I mean? Focusing on their education. But they've got the likes of you who wants to get his jollies off on the end of a fight. Just, uh, it just, that's what I mean. It's not just the mental effect it has, you're then going to have an effect on all the different aspects of, of, of a child's life. Like we also said, and all we're complaining about being stood here for what two hours or so, whatever. How long she had to put up with you? We've only, we've had the good end of the deal, I think, only having to put up with you for two hours. Yeah. I think Laura just said she's on her way down, mate. <laughs> it For all the people commenting, we can't take him to the police station ourselves. Even though I probably could have walked down back by now. Um, health and safety and insurance purposes and whatever else comes into it is just, and also kidnap charges and so on and so forth. We can't take him to the police station ourselves. The child has been found. Yeah. Keep it down while this young lady walks past. Yeah, which I'm still waiting, unfortunately. Should have been long home by now.
Gary's like that fella that used to be on on the telly in the morning. Who's that aerobics man? Mr. That, Mr. Yeah, that's it. That's Gary's giving it a bit of Mr. Motivator at the minute in the middle of the road. Yeah, I think I think his arms and legs are about to fall off. Um, You hear I'm alright. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Trying to get comfy. Glad the camera's facing that way. Well, it ain't gonna be you holding it, is it? Hey? Uh, actually, it should be your turn. How the bottom of your back is? That was yesterday doing what? Just at the top of your mouth. <laughs> I can't hold that right. bone, it's not mine. If I break it, we try and claim off. Yeah, no, the police have been called what four, 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 four times now, and one of the and one of the neighbours has just called them as well. Um, yeah, it's at Sharplin. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is Adam Thirty Two on the app. Adam Percy from London been grooming what he believed to be 11 year old child and I believe it was a 13 year old come forward as well so yeah two decoys as of yet um, I think for his sake he wants to hope when his phone's downloaded I don't find anything else because you'll be even deeper shite then big time I am though, I'm gonna get you a selfie stick just in case like we end up out here this long again. Well I was only saying when you was up there talking to other lady that uh, we've been really lucky up until the last few weeks, haven't we? Yeah, I mean again it's the constant cuts. You, you just can't Well we've had months and months where we've been really lucky. And then it's all gone a bit wrong for a few weeks. You know, I, I do actually, as much as I don't, as I don't want to show any appreciation towards yourself, I appreciate that you've been honest with us. Um, I hope you have, for your own sake, been as honest with us as you say. Because, um, like I say, it will all come to light. Is that another decoy that's come forward? Can you just get that confirmed, please, Ava? Angus Black, if you could message the page, please, with uh, some information. It may well look like you um, haven't been taking my advice, mate, have you? Because if that's true, what that person's just said, then it looks like there is another decoy come forward on you. Yeah, may well be. So, as I, as I, as I said earlier, when I gave you advice, um, if that's the attitude you're going to go into the interview room with, they're going to throw the absolute book at you, if you're not honest. Because it looks to me, I haven't had it confirmed as of yet, but, um, yeah, it looks to me like there could well be another decoy. So, if we're up to three already, you can, you can pretty much guarantee that somewhere along the line you've been possibly speaking to real children in my eyes. I think once you start getting up to sort of three, four plus decoys, you've got to have come across a real yeah, child at some point in your life. Yeah, I mean, for the, for the amount of thousands of kids that are online, compared to the amount of decoys that you're going to come across, for you to come across three decoys, 
and they're the only real children that you believe you're talking to, it's potluck. You might as well go and buy a lottery ticket in my eyes. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just waiting for confirmation to come through. Can, but I'd rather not. Right, that message has just come through. There is another decoy on you. Can we just confirm how old that decoy is? Uh, preferably how long the chat is as well, please. So that's three. three of them, boy. Yeah. Started with one, and we eventually got the truth of two. And now there's a third one confirming. What did I tell you at the very beginning? People will come forward and we'll find out. Even when you leave here now, and you go in the police station, right? Anybody that messages the team about you, that will be passed on as well, whether we're with you or not at the time. Now we've already got three of them. So somebody's not telling the truth, are they? Right, that's another, another pre team. Another pre team that you've got on and off, so you are Oh, you're reminded. <laughs> yeah. I'd start worrying a little bit, because if you've got two pre teens and a teen, you're screwed. Thank you, Angus. Cheers, mate. Uh, I mean, I sh we should always expect it, to be honest, because you guys never tell the truth. You an, wouldn't know how to. It's another 11 year old. You know, I was just sat there saying to him, I appreciate the fact that you've been honest with us all that. Yeah. You made me look like the biggest mug ever. Two 11 year olds and a 13, and you can't say you don't know you're talking to them. Don't tell me all of a sudden it's coming back to you now, isn't it? Is it three? Are there three that you're talking to? Be honest with us. I only remember talking to two. Well, yeah, but a, you didn't remember talking to one to start with, and then it was the one, <laughs> then it was two. They don't lie because they have to give an evidence back. Yeah, as soon as I have an email, it'll be sent over to the uh, the other decoys in question. Two 11-year-olds. So is it, as I was saying to you earlier... I guarantee about, the picture got sent to that one as well. The, the preference sort of thing. Your preference is quite clearly that age range, the pre-teen age range. I, I don't know why. Obviously, only you will know why you was talking to a 13-year-old as well. Maybe you have an interest there as well. But you seem but to be more, more concentrated on the pre-teens. But there's more than one device too. I am talking... Uh, yeah, we'll see. I don't believe anything that you say on that app. I only have it on my phone told you from the very beginning and we all did how we try to talk to you with respect and expect the same back we haven't given it and that just makes us look like bloody idiots what have we got there cheers yeah if you've got any other um, information you can give us at the moment it'd be much appreciated um, obviously I'll make the police aware of what we've got so far once they arrive um, I think you're going to be in some deep trouble when they download your phone for some reason, do you know that? I really do. I think they're going to find all sorts on your phone. Do you know what I mean? And your name ain't exactly one of the most common names up and down the country. You've got quite a distinctive surname. Yeah, so for people to pick your surname out for fresh air, I well, know you can't sit there saying that you don't have a preference, can you? When it's blatantly obvious you do. The preference isn't even teenagers. On the ratio of what we've got, your preference is pre-teens. Kids. Primary school kids. That's your preference. It's like I said to you from the beginning, if you go go into the police station with this attitude when they put you in an interview and you lie through your teeth, so I say this video will be shown in court as well if you get that far. If you if you plead guilty, you won't go to trial. Plead not guilty, this video will get shown. They've seen that you lied to us. Jury ain't gonna believe a word you say, they are gonna absolutely I'll throw happily the book get a at you. Happily. Is it just that one app you're on or you want many others? Who said that? What? Oh, was it you? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, he spoke. Yeah, he spoke. You're right. Just see if I get the sponge. Yeah. <laughs>
He won't get any now because he's realised that people are coming forward the longer he sits here. So I was literally just sat there saying, like, look, we appreciate the fact that you've been honest with us and all that. And literally within seconds, you yeah, made you me look like, like a fool. Made me look like the biggest mug on the face of the earth. No, people ask us how we can be so calm and nice to people like you. And it's yeah. times like this when you blatantly lie to you that you do wonder why. You know, I was saying it takes a lot for the decoys to put up with what they put up with. It takes a lot for us to put up with listening to you, to be, with people like, not just you, people like you. That sit there and just think we are born yesterday. And in all fairness, you nearly had me fooled. We are doing quite well. But now you're not going to say anything at all, are you? I only remember talking to Tim How can you only remember speaking to two? Wait a minute. How can you only remember talking to two? I remember talking to two, the two people you showed me earlier. You've already con right. Let's recap a few things you confirmed. You haven't got any mental health problems, you haven't got any health issues at all. You only smoke, you don't do drugs, you don't drink. Right? Your mind knows exactly what's going on. You're all there. You're not, you know, you haven't got any problems whatsoever. And you've confirmed that. So you can't tell me you only know you're talking to two. You sleepwalk. No. Right. Don't talk in your sleep then. No. Right, so you are talking to three then. They don't come forward saying you're talking to them if you're not. I'm sorry to get a little bit more aggy with you, but when you're lying, do you just remember talking to two like I'll never lose my temper with you because I'm not like that especially not because at the end of the day how we are with you shows up in court oh, so there's, there's no need we, we won't gain nothing even from losing a temper with no, you not at all. or whatever and if for instance another member of the public was to come across you doing this and they gave you a kick in the bruises are only going to last a couple of weeks or months or whatever. I want you on the register where you're going to stay on that radar for as long as they put you on it. It's going to be on That's like two, three teens and a teen, isn't it? Anyone who, who goes around and gives someone a kicking out of this and, and it don't get reported, they're back out after their bruises are healed and whatever and a black eye grooming more children. Yeah. I'd rather have you dealt with in the correct manner, put on the system and then you're out there and your face is all Remember over Remember how I told you how you are depends on how long you get. You're guaranteed an extra chunk of time for another preteen. Anyway, I've got nothing else I need to say. Wait for the police. It's just a matter of a waiting game now. Wait, 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 wait for the police. They can take you, they can deal with you, and you can lie as much as you like to them. Hello there, yeah, I've called numerous times already. Um, I've been standing here for near on three hours now, waiting for the police to attend. Is anybody actually coming or? Well, 
uh, what, two, two hours and 48 minutes roughly, do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah, 21 minutes past six, I first made the initial call, when he said to me that were gonna be 15 minutes. Yeah. As you can see, we're back on the phone to the police again to see if there's any update of arrival. It's because we just want him gone. someone in from another area or I can't stand here all night, do you know what I mean? Well, I don't mean to... Yeah, I have, yeah, and like, he's sat on a wall in front of me at the moment. Yeah, we'll have to. I mean, I respect the fact that you're busy, there's major incidents in the area and all that, but I mean, nearly three hours. Good job no one's bleeding to death. We don't know how to change gears. Yeah. Go yeah, on auto. Yeah, that's sweet. <clears throat> That's what I said. Once it's filmed. Once it's filmed for evidential purposes. If we can't tell us anyone's coming in a minute, I think that's what we need to do. That's what we need to do. That's what we've got to do. Yeah, that one was a good idea. Oh, does it? Oh, okay. Do you know them? Uh, no, they just live down the road, one of these houses.
this is going to be our last one for time. I don't think he's getting anywhere on the call. Huh? I don't think he's getting anywhere on the call. No, he's not. Big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. How are you feeling in yourself at the moment? Good. Not good in what way? A way we need to be concerned for, or just not good because it's all sinking in? Because of what I've done. When my colleague asks you, he's asking for a reason for your welfare, yeah? You have to keep checking him. So, the least you can do is answer him, all right? You feeling bad about what you've done is different to you feeling ill in any way. That's why he's asking. If we were to take you to the police station, would you give us our consent for you to come with us in the car and take you to the local police station? Yeah, it'll all be recorded so that, you know, we can't say you've done anything and you can't say we have. They're, they're still getting numerous amounts of high grade calls coming. So At the moment, he's, he's, he's giving us consent for us to take him to the yeah, police station. Yeah, I've just got this lady on the phone. So if he gives us his consent, can I take him to the local Nick then? And it'll be recorded anyway. At least you can use the toilet and that then. Right, okay. Um, I won't have a clue, but yeah, I'll bear them in mind and I'll, uh, I'll have a look and see which one's closest. I mean, is, is there no ETA you can give me at all? Mm. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. The first one was 15 minutes, then the second lady said it was going to be within the hour. and. I don't really, because if he starts making claims that like, uh, we've assaulted him and whatever, do you know, I'm going to end up in the firing line myself. But it's, I understand it's not an emergency situation, but I, I've been standing here for three hours, love. I would prefer not to. I would prefer to have police officers attend and arrest him, but if I'm, I'm not going to be standing here until 12 o'clock at night, I don't know that much.
Yeah, I would prefer to. Uh, yeah, we will. Yeah. Well, I'll give it another 15 minutes and I'll ring back. If no one's here by then, then I'll take them in. I'm going to have no choice. Don't tell them that because they won't come. Right. Mm. Give it another 15 minutes if they're not here. Um, just message me if they call it in the south, does it? Yeah, I don't yeah. think because I think that neighbour called it in as well. I don't think it matters. I was that's five, six times or whatever I've called now. So you're aware this is never usually like this usually obviously it's like i keep saying to you due to the influx of uh, emergency situations they're dealing with they've got no one this isn't classed as a priority because it's a calm compliant situation um they will deal with other priorities first i've made them aware that we're gathering attention it's up to them how they deal with it um i personally I'm not comfortable escorting you to the police station myself. Um, however, if we don't get anything soon, we're going to have to. You all right? Still there? Yeah, I've just rung back again as well. They're, they're still they're, they're messing us about. So I've been stood here for like three and a half hours nearly now, or whatever it is. I hope you've got data on your phone. Unlimited. <laughs> you better hope so. Gonna need it. Badger pack still going. Yeah, I might need that in a minute. No. Uh, I mean, I know. I know other teams have um, have done it where they've escorted people to the police station. I'm not particularly comfortable with doing that. Um, Yeah, Would it be possible to give, if you give my bank card to my mum? I have to wait till the police get here. Okay. Let them do that.
although we've been here quite a while, the information I've just received about the incident that has gone on in the area is an absolutely catastrophically major incident. Okay. That is why we have been stood here. I'm not going to disclose anything more than that, but it's absolutely sick what has just happened in this area. Mistaken. So it's um, going to have to be the best. Yeah, your um, one of my colleagues is just having a chat with your mum. She's actually going to make a call as well. Um, let's see how that pans out. Because I mean, I'm really, I'm really not too keen on taking him ourselves, really. Um, so we should keep to keep the life going. Mm. So uh, yeah, that's what's. Don't read it out, but. So yeah, something. I don't think anything more major could have actually happened. Um, Take that again for a minute. Yeah. So I'd like say thank you to the people that have stayed with us. Yeah, you can do, yeah. A glass of water? Yes, yeah, I, I get, get your mum to get your glass of water. That's what I mean, it is. It don't usually happen like this, usually. Well, we had one the other week, but that was because there was a major event going on in the area, so they were running low on numbers, but... Yeah, I don't really want to dug eat. I am not I'm not comfortable doing it man. I know I know teams have done it before. Um I'm not particularly comfortable with escorting him to the police station myself to be honest with you. Um uh, Right. Your mum's actually coming over now. Yeah, I've dropped it to the floor. So. Are you all right? Yeah. I didn't know you were out here. Yeah, he's been out. So three hours, mum. Yeah. So yeah, no, we were, we wanted to intercept him before he made it too far because we didn't want to have to go through this process in front of yourself, mm. um, <coughs> which we thought was the best course of action. We've kept it low key. Nobody's really noticed what's going on. We've kept we've stopped talking when anybody's come past. So we've tried to be as respectful as we can. <laughs> Haven't we? Pity you can't just sit inside or... Yeah, unfortunately. I mean, if we are given consent to, technically we are allowed, but again, I, I would prefer not, just on the basis of, of evidence being tampered with and stuff like that and so on and so forth. But, um, not so much of being tampered with. It is, it's a solicitor acting on his behalf could say, well, you were in the house, so how do we know you didn't tamper with his... and then we can't prove it. So it just puts that out the window then. He'll be alright. Point out. Alright, just have right, to answer a few else questions. You want, Adam? You want something to eat? I'm fine. Yeah. He all can right. have something out here if you've got a snacky thing for him. I haven't. No, done. I'm alright. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Alright, sorry to knock on your door. Yes, I just wanted to make sure you were okay. So, what? Um, your mum's going to do is she's also going to call the police um, and see if she can chase them up a bit. We're getting things back. Back. Oh, didn't hear your flip flop for coming that time. Somebody stole your dog. Huh? Can't. Can't pay you, but. Turn it off. Huh? Turn it off. Got it. Got it. Now at the moment, the neighbours have realised we've got a couple of neighbours coming out.
mean a lot of young ladies come out now because she's concerned because she's picked up on it via Facebook and it has come out because she's got young children right I only 15 minutes is up yeah I'm fine, thank you. You can ring the police for us if you like. Please, please. That's all right. So another concerned resident that's actually seen you on Facebook, that close to your home, watching you on the live, that's why she's come out. She sat indoors, wondering what we were doing out here. Saw the live on there that's recording at the minute, and she's come out because she's got two of her own kids. I told you this live feed will reach people quicker than you realise. People on your street are watching this. Right, just keep your eyes peeled, guys, because we've had information that a group of people are on their way to this location. Well, she's I've just, she's, she's just heard rang it in again. She's been watching it live. Yeah, well, I've just so I just said again. people on the street are watching it. She's come out because she was concerned. What have they said? Uh, they've escalated it now, so they shouldn't be much longer because. Well, like I say, we had the information calling. that people are coming. and she's going to call as well. If anyone knows the location of where we are, stay away. Oh yeah, because you'll jeopardise any case. Yeah. Certainly don't need people getting him off because he's been attacked. No, any, anyone attends here, they're just going to jeopardise it, all the hard work. Well, they'll be recorded and reported and then they'll be charged themselves anyway. Yeah. I wanted to knock on your mum's door because I wanted her to let her know. She thought we'd only been out here an hour. I said, no, it's been three hours. Uh, oh. Again, I, I, the, the information I received about what's going on in the area, I swear to God, it couldn't be any worse. Yeah. Yeah, e even though um, even though we've waited the time we've waited with what's gone on in the area is pretty much understandable why we waited this long. Yeah, um, yeah trust me. <laughs> trust me. Go on. Didn't think uh, you'd anticipate that your Monday evening would end like this, would you? Yeah, that's what I've, I've told them numerous times. Um, yeah, I've just notified the police once again um, that we believe people are, are on their way. 
Um, no, whether they hurry up or not, I don't know. <coughs> I think this has beat our record, you know, the waiting. Yeah. Don't drink too much, you need a wee. Was that past now? You drunk it? Yeah. Still need a wee. Well, at least you've got a bottle you can use now. Fortunately, this way, you're going to be pissing in your sock, mate. You'll be right using the bottle, we've all seen it. Unfortunately. Chances that lady come out of. Uh, I'm not sure she was up the road. She come past come earlier walking yeah, her dog. She come past a couple of times. With her flip flops. Yeah, that's the thing. Once you've been here a certain amount of time, people will start noticing why you're here. Especially when me and Gary got hoodies on. <laughs> Don't help much. Oh well. All in the name of awareness and all that. Shut up. I don't have that problem, mate. Shorts and t-shirt, I can do. Who was the one compl complaining about sunburn the other week, standing out in it? Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, your problem. You've got too much to say. Has Gary's daughter made that for me yesterday, yeah. Pretty, isn't it? Which yeah. is. See, he's he not that one. stupid to wear his. <laughs> <laughs> he threw his in the bin. With love. Lovingly threw it in the bin. Yeah, our mind broke for that one. <laughs> yeah. That's all right, I made you another one, Daddy. This one's just all pink. Yeah, I think on the lucky side of things, I think it's a good job it wasn't this time last week because it'd have been absolutely pissing down right now. Yeah, well, we would have been what soaked. You said, it? Earlier, the weather could have been a lot worse. Right. Yeah, you know, guys, in relation to the police, I mean, I know it has been a substantial amount of time we've been waiting, <laughs> but I can warn you now, and I've seen it myself, there is an absolutely major incident in the area. Um, it is actually quite understandable why they haven't attended yet, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. I'm really not... I think that as well, and I'm just not comfortable doing it. Just... Um, so, I would rather stay put... Yeah. Uh, that's what I mean, we've all got to get home and like, get our kids ready. Well, mine will be in bed by the time I get home, but we've all well, got to do school know. runs and that in the morning, do you know what I mean? Uh, once again, just to recap, anyone who's just come on is Adam32 on the app. Adam Percy uh, from London area um, been grooming so far what he believed to be two 11 year olds and a 13 year old had actually arranged a meet for next weekend with um, our 11 year old decoy our shanty who's done an amazing job but we couldn't leave him till next weekend due to the content of his chat log um, he had to be stopped today.
yes it is Lennox Lisa that you can hear probably can't tell the sound of my voice because I'm actually quite tired now I've been sat here for nearly four hours I think it is now um, again there is an extremely major incident in the area I won't disclose any more than that um, look it up yourself I'm sure it wouldn't be very hard to find She said, yeah, I know, I've been watching you for the last three hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Keep bloody watching it then. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm still watching it, I'm not watching it. I'm making sure I'm still here and not at the... Not at the... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Fucking size of <laughs> <laughs> You're scared of your tart. I think the only thing you're going to be taking away from this this evening is a dead ass. Aren't you? Maybe that might teach you a lesson. You end you end up inside. I think sitting on that wall is going to be the least of your worries. He won't mind. He likes bombs, mate. According to his chats. Mm. But yeah, a wall making your bums always the least of your worries. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be well loved. No, you can't hear anything. You've got tinnitus, you have, mate. Yeah. Oh, they, I, I could, have they stopped? I can still hear them. <laughs> yeah, they, I don't know how long ago they stopped. It's the first time I noticed. Is that every Monday? Is that just them practicing bow ringing or what? Those, Sometimes it goes on every day. Every day? Yeah. Boring around here, isn't it? If you've got to do bow ringing as a hobby. Sorry to any bow ringers out there that are watching. I know something else that goes on every day. People grooming the children online that need to stop. That's that's something else that goes on every day in this country. It's getting a joke now. I'm sick of people who keep grooming children. Yeah. Zero to a one, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I won't mention what's happened in the area on a live because it is completely and utterly disgusting, to be quite honest with you. Um, it is plastered all over news pages, all over the internet. So go and have a little look. And for everyone stating that he's going to do a runner, it really won't be worth your while because you won't get very far away from me, buddy. He ain't going to run anywhere. I don't think he's going to run anywhere in my person. Three hours ago. Yeah, but. Um, ain't got nowhere to run, have you? You wouldn't get very far anyway, because I'm uh, I can move when I need to. <laughs> you won't need to. Gaz got his new running shoes on, mate. Yeah. He can get top speed in them. Well, it ain't like he's going to shout, "Stop running at him," is he? Because he'll have to open his mouth. Yeah, mate. he won't be able to talk. <laughs> uh, yeah, for the people oh, that, that have seen what's happened in the area, um, please don't disclose on this live. Um, Prefer it not to be mentioned. Oh, I, that won't me hearing things. I heard a siren then. No, that's what I just said. I... But I think you can probably hear for miles around here, mate, so it could be anywhere. Mm. It's really quiet, isn't it? Considering we're in, in London, it's quiet, isn't it? Yeah, I I know uh, Jackie Wilson. That's the reason. I just um, 
I'd rather not really to be honest it's quite sickening um, it may it may well be a, a, a trigger point for, for some people that are actually watching so I prefer it not to be disclosed uh, on the live or page please Shried. Um Did it? Was anyone aware that a, a live only lasts for four hours? Does it? Yeah. Oh, we're getting close to that. Then. <laughs> yeah. We'll have a part two. Yeah. Not like that one before where we had part six. Do you know the, the people were complaining earlier about the um, the signal earlier here? The, well, you we should have seen the <laughs> signal on the one a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I, we had part five, six, and my, yeah. we had we had a few parts on that, didn't we? A couple of phones. I think all three phones, I think, we used. Yeah, we, uh, Danny, Claire, yeah, we were prepared. We have, we got a charger pack, yeah. Otherwise, I think we would have gone for about three phones by now. Uh, you're posh anyway, you've got 12 volt charge in the back of your car. Sorry, please, that's not even charging, eh? Hey? I'll okay. tell you what, right, you two do not talk some absolute tosh, I'm telling you. You're supposed to be watching. Are you really that there? bored? I am. I can multitask. No, you can't. I can. Now you're going to get a comment and I say, don't lie. Shh. And tell everyone. Be from the lady. Right. The good woman will say, you can't multitask. Yeah, what we do is, um, we just, once it gets to four hours and it stops, we just quickly save it, fire up another one. Hopefully, <clears throat> we shouldn't need to. We'll be done by then. Um, how long have we got left before we hit four hours? Oh, I don't know. Hey? Yeah, mum's come back, guys. I've spoken to somebody on the 101, and uh, they're just saying what you said, basically, that you've got other more urgent things. Yeah, they said we're not important, us guys. We, we don't matter. So, they don't rush out for us. But we shall sit and wait. I mean, uh, unfortunately, um, we are aware that there has been like a, re a really serious major incident in the area. I won't disclose any more than that at the moment, but um, yeah, something terribly horrible has happened in the area. So th that is why they're taking as long as they're taking. How much longer they're gonna take, your guess is as good as mine, unfortunately. I will stay here all night if I have to. We unfortunately have to wait now until they take yeah. the market. I will um I will stay here all night if needs be. You have to stay here for however long it takes, I'm afraid. We don't want to because we're all over an hour away, home wise, but we've got families at home. We have to stay now until they take him. Would it be a good idea to fill it up now though rather than knock in later because it's getting a bit late for your mum? I'll be right. Sure. I'll tell you what I'm willing to do, right? If your mum will allow me permission to come into the house with you, where's the toilet? Downstairs? Uh, we've got it downstairs and right. upstairs. If, if you hand me your phone, yeah? yeah willingly give me your phone i'll keep it in my pocket till the police arrive and as long as i can come into that address with you and you come outside willingly i'll allow you to go in and use the toilet but i don't want any messing about or, or otherwise we can just stay here and you can piss in your sock for all i care um but i'm going to allow you that opportunity only because of the fact that we are touching upon four hours yeah i i, I, I don't know what else to suggest so you're only human at the end of the day, as much as you've done what you've done. Um, just want to take that, girl.
So, right, if you can just give me your phone, I'll just, it's going in my pocket, it's not going nowhere else, there it goes. Right, go on, I'll come in with you. What might be an idea to do is while we're in, just get that restarted. Yeah. Yeah, because we'll it's going to cut soon anyway. <coughs> do you want me yeah. to cut this? Yeah, so I'll just, um, is it alright for me to come in? Yeah, love, are you fine with that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Right. Keep it on until he comes back out. Again. Keeping it on until he comes back out. What's that coming down? Probably a vehicle with lights on. At the moment, he's just gone into the toilet. His mum's allowed him to go in. Somebody has gone in with him standing outside. Yeah, it's down for them to decide, love. So once they're here, they'll most probably come and have a quick chat with you anyway. Yeah. All right? All right. Will do. Will do. Yeah. All good. I've, I've never restarted yet. Yeah. Oh. I don't think Believe it's actually though, sunk in for the mother yet. We don't want cut to be waiting in here as much as you don't. All right. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly cut this one, uh, restart now, because this one's going to drop out anyway. I mean, yeah, we've got f four minutes left, so... All right. Yeah, come on. Somebody might have told them already. See, that's what I say with it being on Facebook like it is. The thing is, it has to be live recorded and streamed because it can be tampered with otherwise and the last thing we want is either you saying we've harmed you and then it stops us being able to say you've done anything to us and getting other charges against you so it protects everybody yeah. and it's also for awareness obviously but um yes yeah, it's evidential purposes of making sure that there are no claims made by either party Phone up the station and say, Look, if you've got somebody there, they haven't got a car, I'll go and collect it. Yeah. Tell me where there's a spare car, but I'll go and pick them up. <coughs> you know, I joked about putting chairs in the car before. Let's start doing that. Picnic. <coughs> We've just finished the last live and then come straight back on. I've been waiting now 
just four hours for the police to turn up. There's been a major incident in the area. Yeah, they're not just saying that, in other words, actually, it's not their excuse of being understaffed. Oh, it got me. It's come smack shot in the nose, I'll do it. Oh, my <coughs> cat bought this moth in the other day. And they called a hawk moth or something. It's absolutely massive. Huge body on it, it's flapping around on the bed. We didn't do our plan earlier because the nearest police station is actually closed anyway. So it would have been pointless. Not a 24 hour. So it's just a local local bobby. Yeah, the nearest one to here, if we were to <coughs> yeah, it's closed anyway, so. <coughs> these calls are logged so if anything goes wrong here because they haven't turned up and somebody turns up and kicks I mean, at the off. end of the day I understand that a major incident's gone on but surely they must have people available to deal <coughs> with other ongoing things yeah. you know what I mean I, I completely yeah, I understand yeah. what's gone on yeah I'm not disputing that but yeah there's probably quite a big for me mate. Posh in Buckinghamshire. Apart from my house. Yeah, <coughs> I reckon you should open your car and we'll sit there. Yeah. We've, we've, we've all said we're going to get Gary's selfie stick. I can make it a bit easier for you. We'll get your selfie stick. I'll get on eBay when I get home. Yeah, we just went far. Is that the boss? to still not be in your front door by 10 o'clock at night then? I would normally come home at this time. Because I wouldn't come home, I would go come home, have sex to it, go back out again. So is that, yeah. what you, that what you planned to do earlier when we called you? That's what I was going to do. Yeah. I was going to come home, have sex to it, go back out again. What did you do? Go out with go mates? Out one of my mates, yes. Yeah. Clubbing, clubbing, not that sort of club. I'll like just give you that club. back. Just put yeah. that back in your pocket. <coughs> I mean, you can keep hold of it. It was only why you I went in there. I didn't want you deleting anything. Yeah. Just goes to a mate. Yeah, goes to a mate. That's most we've worked on now. Are they usually <laughs> relatively early to bed? Yeah, they're normally in bed by now. Are they? My dad normally goes to bed at eight, and my mum goes to bed like. See, so once again, as we was explaining earlier, that knock-on effect. Yeah, that knock-on it has. effect of putting people out. Hopefully my decoy will have a, a lot of a better night's sleep tonight knowing that you're off the streets for the evening <coughs> and off of her case. This is Adam, 32. Been grooming online with two 11-year-olds and a 13-year-old.
at the current moment, I think it's four hours we've been waiting. Again, restarting that. Whether it's the same people or not, but then there's another thousand people watching you. Whether some of them are the same as before Ugh. or new ones, um, your face will be well and truly out there. Uh, as I said earlier, I, I will. Uh, I will say to the police that if you are remanded into custody, I'll remove <laughs> the video. Maybe while the investigation goes on. Um, if you're released back into the general public, into society, that video will stay exactly where it is until I'm issued with a court order to remove it. <coughs> yeah, man. It's a late one for me, this is. Well, right, Anthony, your turn. You bring it in now. I'm getting sick of speaking, so go on. Make yourself useful. Oh, mate. <laughs> Get a bit of paper, so I'll post it. Instead of, instead of laying there on the grass, dozing off. Twat. <laughs> trying to make Ava think I'm going to sleep with you. already going away next week and didn't even put a holiday request form in, do you know what I mean? Why well, you're going, we're getting a P45. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you after, <laughs> after um, before you get a P45. Yeah. Carry on, I'm going to deduct your wages out, uh, your holiday out your wages. Yeah, you can crack on. Oh, Anthony, you're going to have to sleep Have you had any new devices recently or have you had that phone for a while? I've uh, bought this phone, I've had this phone. 
Well, since I've used the app, I've had this phone. Right, so everything will be on there. Yeah. So like we were saying earlier, anything that gets deleted anyway, they can bring it all back. So. <coughs> they should have been well home by now, mate. Hey. Shouldn't have been this long. No. Really? <laughs> As you do, on the Monday evening. Yeah. The thing is, though, even if we had to wait like this all the time, every time, I'd still come out and do it as well. <laughs> Not saying I want them to be this long all the time, every no. time. Um, Only thing I just don't agree with taking it myself. I really don't. As much as this would have been over a long time ago, um, just, yeah, I just don't agree with it. Well got it now, and you go like Miss Love Island and everything, didn't you? It wasn't me wanting to watch it. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was Anthony that was wanting me to watch it. Hopefully, I don't know if it's going to go in our favour or not, but at 10 o'clock it would have been a shift change, wouldn't it? So hopefully... But if they're out, they're going to come back. Yeah, but when a new wave have come in, they might have available people available straight away. I don't know. It's just a hope. <laughs> it sounded good. Oh, Gary's going to be like Popeye in the morning.
な Oh. Right, she had a message back while she was typing it all. Yeah. Um, saying that they are aware, they've updated it, saying that we've had threats of people coming. She said, um, they are coming to us. They have they were on their way, but they've got another um, oh. 999 incident to attend to. They go into that and then units are coming out to us after. Jesus Christ. But she can't say how long this one's going to be, this incident. She just said it's another serious incident. It's just come in while we were... She said, so they've um, diverted to that. Jesus. They were on their way, but now they've been diverted. <laughs> <coughs> I've explained to him that he's got elderly parents on the property and people know he's from there because they've been out. Yeah. That's what I mean. It's taking the piss now. <laughs> I can't believe you've been waiting over four hours. I know. Well, the first fellow I said to him, we've got an ETA, he said 15 minutes. Yeah, well, when you came back after phoning So when they're typing it in, they must get messages come back to them saying what to tell us then. Yeah, yeah, yeah they'll be. It, she it'll, was saying, I've just had a message back saying to let you know we do know. I said, yeah, I know you know. Mm, it'll get graded up to whoever grades it up and then... They decided if, uh, if and when. But not if and when. <coughs> Shame you don't do a runner so we can tackle you to the floor and then pull you Yeah, in. but. Arrest, yeah, no, it's the thing. The thing is, I don't think they would be here any quicker anyway. So. She said to me, and, and who are you? Because you've not called from this number. I said, I'm part of Scorpion. I said, his phone's gone flat while we've been here for four hours. Mm. <laughs> About what? She's like, oh. So where are you? So I ain't got a clue, love, honestly. <laughs> I'm well over an hour away from here. But is it three males that are there? Is the three of you that are there, are you all males? Yeah. It makes any difference, does it? Well, it does. See, if we'd have been three females on our own, they'd have... it's crazy, isn't it? Three females on the road with him, they'd have sent somebody quicker. Yeah. Well, we had someone on the way, but they've been called elsewhere. Yep. S story of her life. <coughs> and the trouble is that incident could go on to another one after. And... No. We're not going to keep our lives going for long with lights on the, on the phone, are we? All right, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of times. Yeah. I said to her, I said a few people have been out, said they've seen the life. She said, oh, people actually know what you're doing. So, well, yeah, of course they do. They've watched it. Make a note of this area for next time, will you? Yeah. To avoid it. <laughs> Arranging meetings. <laughs> yeah. Get them to come to a train station. We like train stations. Yeah, we're still here. What are we up to now? Was it four hours, 20 minutes? Over four, yeah. four hours Something now. like that. How long this one's going? Plus four hours. <coughs> well, we're four hours now. Three minutes away from bang on four hours. 17 minutes past 10. So four hours from the first call. I mean, even if I left now, by the time I was to get home, it'd be like half 11. 
get my arse into I bed. I won't be back before mid before I won't be back today, not now. No. It'll be gone midnight when I get back. Don't mind ruining my day for a man like you though, in all fairness. Uh is what it is. Hello. Oh, sorry mate. You want to make the next call, keep you awake. Yeah, I'll be um, putting my point across when I get here and all. Yeah, well, someone's been decorating and laying carpets all day, do you know what I mean? I ain't just been sat around my house. Laying on carpets all day? Laying carpets. No, laying on carpets all day. Comfortable carpet to sleep on, is it? Yeah, they were actually, they're not bad. You all right? Yes, yeah, so as we're in London, um, I won't disclose where at the moment, but... Um, Somewhere dark. Yeah, they're... Uh, to be fair, there has been an extremely major incident in the area. Um, if you look online, you'll see what that incident is. It is absolutely disgusting. We did have a unit dispatched to us, which then got called to another emergency. So now we're standing here. Like a pair of plonkers. A bunch of plonkers, whichever you... I'm getting pair. tired now. And a pair too. Whichever. <laughs> Go away from me. Um... <laughs> Yes, yeah, so just waiting game now, again. Get away from me. Yeah. How many times have we called now? What, seven? That's got to be... One of the neighbours have called. His own mother's called. Um, Four, You've called, I've called. You next. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> we did consider taking him to the nearest police station. But then, after look, we didn't yeah, after uh, looking online, it appears to be shot anyway. So, yes, exactly it, Jules. Go go and rob a chocolate bar out the co-op or something, and they'll be here in a matter of minutes. So. Uh, Oh. <laughs> Can we try and pick a day next time when there isn't going to be an incident in the area? <laughs> yeah. Can't ever pick a day, can it? Yeah. Street might be where we are, so if it lights them up, we'll be able to use that. Yeah, that's alright. <coughs> that will drain the battery quick. We've got charge packs. No, we haven't. It's solar powered, mate. Have you seen where the sun's gone? <coughs> yeah, it's fully charged. It's still got two bars on three bars on it. We're having shit out of it. It's not fully charged, then, is it? It's not fully charged, then, is it? It's not fully charged, though, is it? Hey, the sun gone on, what do you say? Yeah. <laughs> As I say, good job if it went this time last week because it had been absolutely pissing we down. So I know they watch these live feeds and all that, yeah? But if they have the audacity to actually turn up now and give me grief about a live feed, I'm going to tell him where to go, I'm telling you. Well, they watch these because they always turn up, so yeah, we've been watching it. When we were dispatched, we've been watching it, see what's going on. Yeah, we should have been watching it four and a half hours ago. You know, today, I know there's there's always major incidents in the London area, as part of being in London, but today, today's one's really bad. what we've been told that has happened in the area is um, it's quite dreadful, actually. There's no end of police attending that. So, you would have thought in the space of, uh, what, four and a half hours, someone would have turned up. Yeah, but four and a half hours out of our life to get one of these off the street. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd like to say I'd stand here all night long if I have to. All right, Gary's got an arm ache and <laughs> his power pack's going to die. <laughs> but... uh, yeah, just to recap, it's uh, Adam32 on the app. 
chap's actual name is Adam Percy. Um, been grooming two 11-year-olds, one of our own, one from uh, another team came forward. Uh, also 13-year-old from another team. Uh, yeah, that's the ins and outs of it really. And uh, I know most teams say quite a bit that it's you know the worst chat log they've seen. This chap is by far the worst I've ever seen, which was why um, we weren't able to wait until he's arranged meet next weekend with the 11-year-old decoy. We had to come out and get him today. Um, we couldn't have left it another week until next weekend. The, the, the risk was too high. So, here we are. As I was saying to you earlier, Adam, I believe that um, I'd actually put my left bollock on it that you'll be reminded. I would assume, judging by your chats. Well, and the fact that more have come forward as well. Well, more have come forward, and we've put we've put chat logs in that us, for want of a better word, say aren't as bad as yours. Um, and then people have been reminded. Yeah, they're, so they're all they're all bad in their own right, but yeah. it's not as sickening as yours. I ain't even gonna get excited. I ain't even gonna. Yeah, it could be going anywhere, mate. <laughs> yeah. Probably an ambulance. <laughs> it could be going anywhere apart from here. I guarantee you where it ain't going. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Don't worry, there'll be a shift change at the police station soon. No, that was at 10 o'clock. What is it now? Uh, 24 minutes past 10. Yeah, it takes them a little while after, after they do a shift change, don't they? They've got to have a coffee and donut, donut and then they'll be on the way. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we're in London. After this shift change now. This is Adam Percy. Can't access them messages. Hold on. Yeah, go on. If you can grab hold of that. Yeah, I heard sirens can, but I'm not getting excited in the slightest. Those, yeah. Is that any better for you? Can you see? Into the light, mate. You're not a moth, are you? Yeah, okay. Should we order Domino's? <laughs> <laughs> bit of meat feast, mate. Yeah. You know what, now these weights are getting longer, I'm going to have to start bringing food and drink in the motor. Last, I remember a little camping... Um, and a shovel. Oh yeah, get going. a little stove out with them. Get your whistling kettle. What would you say? Is that? I said we can get a shovel as well for when it starts snowing. Yeah. <laughs> Simon. About six miles that way. Is it? Yeah. But it's going that way. But easy is, mate. Like, you catch the cold. I know I should have brought the hoodie instead of the t-shirt. I did ask you before, but... I don't wear all those jumpers, right? Although it is times like this when I'm thinking, well, maybe I should. <laughs> I think your mum would have gone to sleep now. 
instead of waking up worrying about you all. No, I think she'll stay up. Stopped you from giving the decoy sleepless nights, and it's now going to have the uh, same effect on you on your mum. Chance to park up. Yeah. Just let him know he's alright. Look at this now. Someone let him know he's alright. He's safe. We're just. He's been offered drink and food. <coughs> hey. Eh? So he's been offered drink and food. Yeah, he's done offered drink and food. It's just so his dad knows he's alright. Tell him they may as well get their heads down. No, we will be going in when they get it. Yeah, I know. That could be any time. Try and put their minds at rest instead of them worrying too much. Mm. Which is why I said to your mum, Do you want to come out and speak to her? And then at least she can see for herself that you're not in any danger. I would have liked for you to have been gone a long time ago. We don't usually have people, well, let me say we've never had somebody sit this long, have we? Mm. This is our first time we've ever had to wait this long. No matter what you've done wrong, it's still not, you know, we don't do it on purpose to keep you just sat there. Do you remember yet? Mm. Yeah? Yeah, it's coming through. It's coming through? Yeah. So you remember all three now? Yeah, I remember all three now. So is the third one the same length of chat with them? Longer? Uh, not as long as the other two. Do you think you've probably sent that pic to that one as well? I'm guessing if you've sent the same pic to two, I've you've sent it to all of them. I might have sent it to them, um, I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. I do remember sending it to the other two. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. To be honest with each other, you knew that third one straight away. You haven't got to answer me, but I know you did. It hasn't just come back to you where you've been sat there, you knew straight away, you were just wondering how you were going to get yourself out of it. And this face weren't born yesterday, mate, 45 years ago, unfortunately. So now be honest, is there any more? Just the three. Potential anymore that you might have forgotten about? Three or four. Right, okay. Back to the three. Okay. But you knew about all of them straight away, didn't you? You just thought you'd try your luck, which is what most people are trying to do, in all fairness. It's not just you. Most will go, yeah, 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 they'll cough to one. It's very different to these drug dealers, yeah? They'll, they'll, a police officer will stop them in a car and then have loads of it stashed on there. And an officer will say you got any from the car and they'll offer up the tiny little bit. They'll offer up the least they can. And that's just what people do, eh? But you knew about all three of those straight away, didn't you? Yeah. At least we've established that. I'm just nervous saying it. Uh, that's why I didn't say all three. Of it's got to be said though, isn't it? Yeah. Not necessarily to us, but it's got to be said. Because they all come out. And you know what? The more that come out, over time but if you don't that's why we tried saying to you straight away so you sit there and you say one yeah 
and then the judge looks back on this. If you decide to go not guilty, the judge looks back on this. He's like, one, okay. Oh, two. And now he's like, you know, great. All he's going to think is, can I believe anything this guy says to me? And that doesn't go well for you. And that's the only reason we tell people to be honest from the start. Because once somebody's lied, once maybe nerves, but when you carry on doing it, and it eventually comes out that you've lied, people look at you and think, well, why should I believe anything he's telling me now? You know, you're there, you're trying to say you're sorry for what you've done. A judge could look at you and think, no, you're not. I'll give you the maximum time I can give you. Just depends who you get. That judge could have their own kids of the same age. It could be something as simple as that that makes them think, I'll come down a bit harder on this one. It doesn't pay to lie. And we don't tell you that because we want you to admit into as many as you can so that you get longer. It's just, it's just our way of trying to help you. But we knew, all three of us knew, straight away. It's not going to be just one. And then when another one comes forward, when the third one comes forward, there's no way I'm, I can speak to my colleagues as well. None of us would have thought, oh yeah, that one's lying. He hasn't spoken to three. We all knew straight away. As they say, it's not our first rodeo, mate. We've been doing it for a long time. Caught a lot of people. Everybody lies. I don't think we've had one that's told the truth from the offset. Have we? I don't think so. I mean, there are so many teams out there, I don't know a lot of them. I know the ones we work closely with, but there are loads. You know, they pop up with a different name and I'm like, I've never heard of them. And I don't know what they'd be like, but some might not be the same way we've been. You know, they, you could have, some of them, you could have them in your face, effing them, whining at you, and they get angry because they've got kids the same age, but they let it get to them, and everybody's different. We're all human at the end of the day, and it, it affects all of us, but some of us just know how to keep it calm so that when it gets to court, your solicitor then can't say, well, they, they forced him to say that. But it does, it just winds me up when people lie, because you can tell. But like I say, nerves. Yeah. Nervous of what the outcome would be. I was nervous when all three of you walked up to the door of the car. Do you know, one thing I would say to you, and I don't know why, but this chap here, I don't know what it is, but you haven't taken to him in the sense of he'll ask you questions and you won't answer him, but yet you'll answer me and talk to me. I don't, I don't know why. I don't, I, I don't really know why. Just, I don't know. But that's one thing I've noticed, and that just won't reply to your question. Is it because I'm holding the camera? Most probably, yeah. I'd have thought I'd have been the one that looked more unapproachable than you. Oh. Over six foot and 21 stone, people usually avoid me. What's my cold? Mine's cold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you should be tucked up in bed, young lady. Yeah. He said you're usually in the land of Nob by now, in the warm. <coughs> We've spoken to the officers several times again. Um, they did have somebody on their way, but unfortunately they got called out to another incident. Um, so they've said there is somebody responding, but they've, they've, the people they were originally sending have gone off. But they have a shift change at 10 o'clock, so we're hoping, which is about half an hour ago now, we're hoping once they get themselves all set up and in their cars, that they'll have somebody they can send out. Okay. But, um, we've been talking to you, haven't we? We haven't just been yeah. ignoring you. Making sure he's all right. Just getting chilly. Chilly? That's because you're usually tucked up in bed. It's not cold. And I've got a t-shirt on. Look. But no, we've um, had quite a. There's been quite a big incident going on, so they've had a lot of resources sent to that. This is the longest we've ever had to wait. Sometimes we'll get them as quick as five, six minutes. I think we've been the quickest, and then the longest. 
two and a half hours or something mm -hmm. like that. Nothing like this. This is, um, like I say, I, I'm well over an hour. You know, I'm not back until tomorrow when I get yeah, it's, home. It's about uh, five on? hours now. Yeah. Twenty twenty one minutes past four, so there and twenty minutes. About three hours, four hours and twenty minutes to get it right in a minute. Brain slowing down now. So we've been speaking about your kids and family and that we? Yeah. Do you want that filled up before your mum and dad settle down? Yeah. So when they come, will they pop, come in and speak to they, us? They will, but I wouldn't purposely wait up because we don't know how long they could be. I, mean, I don't know whether you feel it's best to get your head down for a little while or... No, no, we'll stay. ...going to wait up. I feel sorry for you, you know, we do. We've said that, haven't we? Go on, Joe. <laughs> so, yeah, um, but yeah, they will. Not too sure um, what they'll do because... Usually they contact CID and then CID are the ones that will come out and then they'd want to you know, go through and speak to you guys and make sure they've got their facility room, make sure they've got electronic devices from there, things like that. You're saying there's an Xbox or something in there? Got an Xbox. And that sort of stuff connects to the internet, so it's anything that connects to the internet. Um, no, we've just gone to top the bottle of water up. Yeah, I think um, I think your dad's actually pretty gutted, mate. To be honest with you, <laughs> to be, he's, I think his arse has just fell out of his world. He, he explains to me how he's done so well with you. Like, got you holding a job done, and sounded like you're really like turning your life around for the better. Do you know what I mean? And uh, something like this is. Mm. Has happened. I think he feels like he's been kicked right in the teeth, to be honest with you. So to say, he's absolutely gutted, mate. I, I, I don't even know what to say to you about the way the fella just reacted. He's he, gutted, big time. We've remembered the third, they say. Hmm? He's remembered the third. Well, like I said, you've known about the third all along, but yeah, he's, he's oh, admitted right. he's known all about it all the time. But it's a bit scared. Yeah. Yeah. He had no reason to be because we were here the whole time.
barking up a fag. Is that what they were doing? You never know, do you? Hmm? Never know, do you? That's why we walked over. Cheers for this tonight, guys. Anyway, even though we didn't expect yeah. to be out for this long. At least I was showing that he should be able to get a decent night's sleep now with uh, with you off of her case. So I won't say where, and I don't want you to say where. But your dad was saying there's a, a park that's absolutely crawling with police, so that's obviously where they all are at the minute. Yeah, away from us, but. Um, I don't want to give, I'm going to say where it is because that will give a rough location of where we are. He said it's absolutely crawling with them, so apparently that uh, must be where they're all held up. I think your dad said he's going to go and put his feet up and go to bed though, he's knackered. Mm. And your mum said she'll sit up, but your dad's going to go to bed. last words before he went in there is he said you're a pain in the backside. Right, similar to that anyway. Oh, he was always like that. <laughs> always. <laughs> yeah, he said you're a pain in the backside. I think all children are to a certain degree. Yeah, I think there's been, how old you are, there's, been, there's been a pain in the arse and then there's grooming children online. Yes. That'd be flat and warm, mate. So I'll drink something. I think someone might have to do a part three in a minute. Yeah. Why? Come up twenty percent. Oh, you pack gone. Yeah, pack's gone. Oh. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine's on charging as well. <laughs> Stand <for movie>. Yeah. <laughs> Stand closer to the charger. They've got an extension link. <laughs> Put it through the letterbox and run it over it. Even yeah. better, because yeah. they've got a Wi Fi code. I've always wanted Well, he's to got Wi Fi it's in his car as a sticker in the back window of his car saying it's, it's got not. Wi Fi. No, it's not. It's just it's a fake sticker. sticker. Yeah. Does it make the car go any faster? No. Why well, you got a sticker in the window saying you've got Wi Fi for that? It's the things that the coursers do, isn't it? Because all the girls come out of the park and yeah, start logging onto his Wi Fi. That ain't a courser. Yeah, I know it's not a courser, but they. That's is that what it is? Attract. Yeah. The, the it's kids, like the the kids that are out, they want to. like the links effect, but with yeah. Wi Fi, you know what I mean? <laughs> I got Wi Fi, come and stand around my car. Is that what you're trying to say? Well, I thought you had a posh car then, more Wi Fi. What do you know about posh? My Astro had Wi Fi, mate. I'll have you know. Oh, I'm going to ring back and get really narky man. Yeah, because my mouth like a nun. And I won't finish, because we're on a line. Mm -hmm. Don't run around.
to a stand for that bit of piece of metal. I like you won't need that on there to drain your battery. Is it not? No. Okay. Doesn't look like that watching it there, does it? No. Keep your phone still though. Can't be harmful, Ted. Me? I've got to watch it for me. Within the next 10 minutes, I reckon. Hey! I am not going to put all my eggs in one basket, though. No, I'm not sure the Easter Bunny turn up if the battery's still going. Yeah, that's all right, yeah. Because um, <coughs> mine, I'm going to have to show them what I've got to show them. Um, so, yeah, just once they arrive, we'll just end it. He's going to be arrested regardless, anyway. So. Theory, the next sirens we hear will be your taxi. Do you like jewellery? Do I? Yeah. No, I don't really know. No. I know I'll you're... be wearing some when they get it. Yeah, yeah. you're going to get some nice Pandora bracelets. They're not very comfortable. I used to love putting them on the prisoners. Well, it's, what I'm just going to do is tight. just going to stick you on it, Anne. I'll stick you on it. Uh, you can get our mate. <laughs> mate, you need to get your phone ready. It's going to be less than 10 minutes. I use this arm for many important things. She's going to punish you for working a holiday while it's not for me. My 
can't anyway, I'm busy watching a I'm busy watching a live look. Oh, is it? Yeah. Just, um, just to make you aware on like the scale of how things work out. You know the video that we did before we restarted this one. I just checked, and like forty-three thousand people have already looked at it. Right. Just to give you a scale, I mean, tomorrow that'll have doubled by the end of the week. Yeah, you know, he added. Is he added? Five or ten this house is free. <laughs> no. No. She, she is watching. Oh, and she can hear. You. Decline. <laughs> Yeah, but she can't get me. I want to put it faster. You want to bet? If I knew she was on her way, I'd be in my car, I'd be gone. <laughs> Have you started? Wait a minute. I'll tell you, yes, you will have won't be tough. Got him? Yeah. Just mean. Wait a minute. If I tell you, yes, you will have won't be tough. Got him? Yeah. Oh, I mean. oh. Hey, come back with a light. Huh? Well, that's bright, isn't it? Look, come here. Come here. That's how a proper phone does it look. Yeah? Yeah. Go live with no. See, mine, mine looks like daytime. No, I'm not doing it all the time. <laughs> I'm going to drop my phone and break it. So, as you told him earlier as well, thinking that like, you remembered the third one all of a sudden. So, yeah, that, that covers the... He admitted he knew from the beginning. He just he was just trying his luck. Yeah, it won't work, unfortunately. And that's, that's, why that's the free de We're only going to be aware of any decoys amongst the teams that we operate in. Um, as I say, it's a high possibility in my eyes that if you're talking to free decoys... Um, yeah, we're still here, four and a half hours from phoning the police. We've had an update from the police, they've got a unit on the way, they're telling us it will be within ten minutes. Um, but we've been four and a half hours so far, so uh, we're not holding our breath. There isn't a local police station that's open. Here's the police, the police are here now. So just to confirm, the unit are here. So you can still do it if you've got it, your phone. No, I'm taking it. They'll probably let her know. Yeah, because they won't speak to her yet anyway until they've dealt with you. So. Okay. The police officer have just arrived, have literally just started. This is their first attendance tonight. Huh? 
Why do you want you to have my phone? Is that so you get in trouble but my phone gets taken, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've only just started. Yeah. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. their first job. Yeah. Electric car. Yeah. Doesn't look like that, does it? Mm. You could outrun that, boy. That electric car, you could outrun that. Actually, they wreck. They go quite quick, they were saying yeah. before, weren't they? On that other job. Quite a bit of poke in them. What's the chance of another police car coming in the corner in a second as well? Yeah. That'd be true. It's like the number 69 bus, mate. Wait ages for one then two turn up. You right? Yeah. I bet it's sinking in now as a police car sat here, isn't it? Hey? Yeah. That'll get the nerves going. Don't worry, you get to go in an electric police car. You're not being aggressive. Oh, okay. Hey? Eh? Yeah, you won't go in a van. <coughs> you won't need to. You'll have an officer sat with you in the back. You'd be no trouble with us. All you'll be doing if you kick off is getting yourself another charge. Yeah, and we'll be helping them do it. Stay like you have been, own what you've done, job done. At the end of the day, you put yourself in this situation, nobody else, you chose to do it, you know. And if it does come to your light that you're talking to more, then let them know. Yeah, because after your phone's been seized and downloaded, they'll find it anyway. If you don't want to admit it to us, at least admit it to them when you're there. Keep it a bit, if you want to do it a bit more personal, that's absolutely fine. But it's true what he says though. Yeah? Anything you haven't wanted to admit here, then, you know, if there is stuff you need to admit, do it. But don't do anything until you're uh, back at the station under caution. They'll tell you not to say anything now anyway. Anything to you spoke to a juicy solicitor? The police are here, they're being spoken to at the moment. Nippy they are, those are bars, you know. Are they? They're quite nippy they are. That little cup in. It's a good picture. A bit shaky. Cold me. Cold and eight arms are going. <laughs> They'll all start asking why it's not shaking now. They've been talking to uh, two 11 year olds and one 13 year old decoy. Police are here, our Lennox is talking to them now, uh, and then they'll come and uh, speak to this guy after. Uh, these officers have only just come on scene, uh, on shift as well, so, uh, you know, it's, it's not their fault what's happened beforehand.
See that? Oh yeah, it's as far as as far as that said. No, the police have had an extremely serious incident to deal with. It's not their fault that they haven't been able to re respond. And in all fairness, um, I speak for all of us. We'd we'd all stand here all night if we had to. Um, as long as there was a, you know, this guy was caught, it doesn't matter how long we're here for, so it's not a problem. I'm not sure we'll be stopping for food and drink on the way home. I think it would be a quick dash straight home. There'll be no stopping. We're not going to be home till gone midnight anyway. Yeah, when you check our page, um, make sure you watch all three of the parts. There are three parts. We had to stop it because it had got to the four-hour mark. You can only do a live for four hours. Uh, then one of the phones have gone down, uh, and then there's this live as well. So there are three parts to the live, so watch all three of them. We've got a spare five hours. Yeah, yeah if, if, you, if you find a spare five hours of your life that you have nothing else to do, Somebody said not all heroes wear capes, but you've got one, haven't you, mate? Huh? You've got one, haven't you? Right. Somebody, somebody put not all heroes wear capes. Right. I've seen you dress up as Superman before. No, the police aren't having a break in the car. The police are going through the evidence with, uh, with Lennox before they uh, come over, and they have to make sure they've got grounds for arrest, obviously. Yeah, they'll phone CID and see what CID want to do. I think they'll probably be looking at whether CID want to come out and do a 6 and 18 on the property or not. Which I'm sure they will. We did have a lovely neighbour come out asking us if we wanted anything, but we did decline. Yeah, well done, Catherine. If you've been with us from the start, then uh, that's dedication. That is, that's five hours you've been listening to us. Oh, five hours. Unfortunately, Helen, I'm sure you appreciate we can't tell you where we are, or we can tell you we're in the London area. Um, locations never given out, um, obviously for safety reasons. Again, Mandy, um, thank you for being in from the start. We've been here from the start as well.
Somebody's cleaning the fish tank while they're watching. They're using the time to clean the fish tank. Costa doing his thing at midnight apparently. Our lovely Elsie, thank you. Somebody's put this as the longest thing they've ever seen all over the country. It probably is. That we get a gold star. Cool. Somebody in South Australia. It's seven thirty-eight p.m. There. They've put ready for my sleep. It's an early sleeper. Yeah, Chris police are here. Um, just currently going over the evidence and calling into CID, uh, just arranging everything on that side of it, and then they'll be over here. But they are uh, just over there. Yeah, the police car is an electric police car. Uh, he'll be facing charges for uh, two pre-teens. Um, Two 11 year old preteens, one 13 year old teen, uh, distribution and download of pornographic images uh, and sending indecent images of himself as well. Uh, we've been doing this thing since about quarter past six, is when we approached him at his car. Everybody loves a police car being electric, Lennox. Hey. Everybody wants to see the police car because it's electric. They'll see it in a minute when he's put in the back. Yeah. Uh, you're going to just have to pop over there a minute, mate. Lady wants to take your details. I think she likes you. Someone's got it. Someone's got it. Yeah. All right, they're just ringing through to CID because obviously it's not a matter that normal bobbies will deal with. This will go up to a specialist team. So they're just 
reading through uh, for what means of arrest you're going to be arrested on this evening. So it's starting to sink in a bit now the police have arrived here. Yeah? Just don't do it again. That's the only advice as well I can give you. Be honest and just don't do it again. It's too late for that now. I mean, hopefully. You know, like I said, it's going to be a cloud over your life. It's inevitable. But the only person that can make a difference is yourself. And just don't let anything like this happen again. It's that plain, clear cut and simple. Mm. They said that to us on that last one, didn't I? Yeah. Cheers, Saz. Thanks, mate. Saz said, well done, guys. Saz says, well done. Thank you very much. To persevere a bit, but got there in the end. That's all that matters. The only thing that matters is watching him in the back of that car in a minute, and that's the best bit. Yeah, I think the main point I'm trying to get across to you here is basically stay away from our kids at the end of the day. People don't like our kids being groomed. Yeah, and we'll come back for you. Which one? Anyone. Oh, What's that, the good looking one? Hold on a minute. Oh, <laughs> I thought she said the young one, that was me. Yeah. I don't know. Something about statements, but they can have an MG11 sent over when I get home. Because I'm not going to any police station this time, you know. Yeah, I need to stick that email in my chat, and then it, we, by the time he's in custody, you'll have everything, yeah. I need your email then. Right, yeah, someone, I can't multitask that much. Look, he's limping and everything. What's the matter with you? Maybe the emails. What's that?
All good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they're just um also just liaising with CID and then uh that's why they'll be over and make an arrest on it. Oh, it's sort of saying too early, just be honest. Best best thing you can do. If, and if you don't, we'll all be in court. Yeah, what is it? They wanted all the MG11s and all that sent straight over, so... <sighs> you always end up holding that phone, don't you? Yep. Yeah, massive well done to Shanty with this one. Um, so, I mean, that girl can usually hold her nerve for quite some time when she's uh, doing what she does, but this one, he couldn't be, uh, he couldn't be left any longer. As you can see, the police are here. Why? Yeah, it's just that they did uh, D-Dog Dane come through, so yeah, you need to check your box. <laughs> She's like, check my box! <laughs> <laughs> they are going to be going into your property and searching, and so that will be the whole house, not just your room they're talking to doing. Yeah, but unfortunately, mate, there's nothing I can do about that, is there? That'll be any electronic devices, whether that belongs to you or not belongs to you. So that'll be mobile phones. If there's a potential of you being able to get a hold of it and do anything with it, it'll be seized. TV in the front room, smart TV. for you I believe they're just saying no don't 
I'm gonna vanish for the other. I think we'll vanish for the other loops. There's a van on the way anyway. Yeah. 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 Smoking his house all night, and all of a sudden, so the police car. Yeah, he's walked past it twice. Yeah, and now all of a sudden, you can only smoke out the front. <laughs> she said, You'll be all right, mate. Like, oh, it's having a thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's the first time you've actually run outside in the last five hours. Doing window twitching, isn't it? Yeah. Suddenly, you can't go out the back or smoke. You can't nick until they've got those got drives. Those drives yeah. Yeah, no, it's all good. They're just literally um, just ringing through to CID. She's received our email of the chat logs. Once I've got the um, email from the OIC, I will then forward that on to the other decoys. Um, yeah. I think she said they're getting a van, whether that's for evidence stuff or not. They're on about organising a van, so whether that's for him or evidence. Yeah. She said they will go in. <laughs> yeah, do you want to take it back? Lennox has already told her we're taking her picture, making her famous for a number. Yeah, I said we'll, we'll get her Facebook famous when she comes over and puts him in hand. You're going to be stuck like that tomorrow, aren't you? Yeah, you're going to be able to move, is he? He's going, to fo cease. he's going to phone us halfway home. He'll be like, I can't he steer the car. He won't be able to lift the phone I up to his ear. I can't steer the car left or right. I can only go straight. <laughs> oh, when I bashed my thumb with an hammer, trying to indicate that it was right night. Like What you should do is alternate arms as well, and then like, otherwise you wake up like Popeye in the morning with just one arm. Like. Yeah, don't use that arm that you use <laughs> for decorating. Get me all the way finished tomorrow. I think I might ask Ava if she wants to do the school run. What do you reckon? <laughs> Yeah, I I wouldn't ask her. She might just offer voluntarily, without asking. Ava will do the school run. Watch, watch. Here it comes. She's gonna she's gonna offer in a minute. Right. Yeah, we're still here. Um, CID are being rung at the minute. Somebody said, "Why can't you go in the car?" Because they're waiting to get everything sorted. Yeah. Oh. 
Everybody's commenting and reckon we're probably the longest thing ever. I don't think so. I think there was one a little while ago that was over six hours. Well, we're pushing it. Yeah, I think we're near on there. Well, we'll have to do another one and make it longer. Hmm. He can't, he can't even move his arms from his factory's mouth. Was it you got indoors? You said just an Xbox, wasn't it? Oh, no, 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 and a tablet. And a tablet. Oh, yeah, I've got Xbox, tablet, and phone, you said. Oh, uh, I didn't think you had a tablet. And then whatever, is, whatever else is in there. Mm. He's got potential to get hold of it. It's a good chance I want to take it. Yeah, no, I think there was another sting that was 6 hours 15 minutes. I think we're, someone just said we're up to 5 hours 8 minutes. So. We better get out of here quick. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want that top slot. They can keep it. Police have arrived. Police are there. Oh, they keep us. Oh, we turned it. So high. It must be blinking each time we turn around. <laughs> yeah. I did say several times that police were here. Still, still waiting for Ava's comment to come up because she wants it pinned. I think she's going to sleep. <laughs> Probably. I don't think she's there anymore. I think she's left. That's why the comment didn't come up. I think there is no school run tomorrow. Kids are off school. Inset day. Teacher training day tomorrow. Got to get my ass out of bed first. Who, me? Is that you, just yawn or you? Me. I'll be, I'll be alright once I get indoors. I'll have a coffee and I'll be wide awake. I was going to say, it's no good you yawning. You've got a long night ahead of you. Oh. All be worth it in the end. I'll go and just take it. I'm, I'm punishing you now, aren't I? To see if Ava's comment comes up because she wants it pinned. I just want to see what the crack is here because I want to fight that at some point. All good? Yeah. Oh, I What's your name, sorry? Uh, Adam Martin, the person. Adam Martin, okay. Um, at this point, you're under arrest for Section 15 of Sexual Offences Act 2003, which is intending to meet a child for doing sexual grooming. So you do not have to say anything, but it may harm the difference. You do not mention any questions that you which you later on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Um, the arrest is necessary to conduct a proper and effective investigation, protect a vulnerable person, and uh, uh, prevent loss or damage of property, okay? Okay,
Yeah. Always bad on a full moon. I used to be in the fire service, that was always our business night on a full moon. I've got my phone, my keys, and the light on my event. Mm -hmm. She wants to get stuck in, look. What about the boat? Did you just stick him in there? Oh. Right, so just for a minute guys and girls, uh, for anyone that's just joined, this is Adam32 on the app, Adam Percy, um, we're in the London area, won't disclose the location, um, for obvious reasons, um, he's now been placed under arrest, uh, searched him and we'll shortly be searching his address, um, it has been a bloody long night but we got there in the end mission accomplished um, just want to say once again although I have already many times this evening and I couldn't say it enough if I wanted to massive well done to you Shanti you've done amazing with this one um, yeah it's just it's completely vile we couldn't leave him to come out next week and get him when he was arranging a meet with a child um, judging by the means of arrest, um, the planning of the meet has been taken into consideration so far. Um, so yeah, all, all good in that respect. But you've done amazing, girl. Um, really have. So keep up the good work. And um, yeah, I'm going to end this here for now because I want to go home to my bed, to be quite honest with you. Um, but yeah, have a good night's sleep yourself as well. We'll catch up with you later, guys.